Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Un Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Success Sampathy interacting with you. Do you want to become IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS? We Un Academy with top educators of India and meticulously designed quality content. We have been waiting for you, waiting to shape you especially. Ladies and gentlemen, once you, you know that enroll yourself in an academy, you will undergo a great learning experience. You know about an academy, this is India's largest and the best online education platform. What are all the benefits you are likely to get once you enroll yourself in an academy? Of course. You got, you know, daily live classes like this. You know, you can chat with your educator. You can engage in all round discussions. And also ask your genuine doubts and participate in the answer polls. All these things, you know, that you can do when the sessions going on. Ladies and gentlemen, you got structured courses completely based on UPSC civil service examination pattern and syllabus as well. So that we ensure that you never get deviated from the expected framework. We save your time and energy as well. We are keep on emphasizing one important point. Of course, it's not knowing the stuff, knowing to deliver the stuff because delivery matters. It's not what you deliver, rather how do you deliver? We are keep on emphasizing, you might be aware, but for that we've got a mechanism. Yes, we evaluate, you know, that your preparation in terms of various stages by conducting regular mock tests and quiz programs. You get detailed analysis based on that particular, you know, that performance of yours. The repeat, report, what you get, you know, will reveal where you are strong, where you are weak. Not only that, you know, the time we have consumed in solving a particular question. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, once you enroll yourself in an academy, of course, you got unlimited access. More than 1 million videos for that you get access. Not only that, whatever may be your electronic device, whether it is mobile phone, laptop, even desktop, irrespective of your electronic device you know that you can learn otherwise let me say you can learn from anywhere anytime ladies and gentlemen what you have to do please download an academy learning app immediately whether it is android or ios you know once you download you can access all those benefits not only that you know who is this interacting with you of course this is success sampath from chennai with unique experience you know that of, you know, got exposed to the fields of, you know, engineering, management and legal education with 24 years of experience in the field of coaching, especially civil service aspirants, shaping the careers of civil service aspirants, you know, with my team, I could witness humble results, 250 plus, you know, that results, all my kids, you know, as IAS, IPS, IFS, IRS, all are working in different parts of India, some of them in abroad as well, part of external office ministry, you might be aware. You can also ask me, what's your vision, sir? To be part of solution, not to you know that uh, complicate the simplicity. Hope you understand. To begin with, you know, to provide career solution, especially by enabling youths in India. Fortunately, this particular vision of mine is completely in alignment with an academy's vision. We are working together to shape you, especially <coughs> to shape your career. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Right. So, and you can also reach me through Telegram channel, say an academy, you know, Sampath or Success Sampath, even Sampath Thiruvengiram. Lot of videos already available part of an academy YouTube channel. Please visit that. Whether it is the subject matter of sociology, essay writing practice, or even your international relations, even for this ethics and integrity. Even when you download app also, you can, you know, that visit all my videos available there. Whether it is, you know, prelims, MCQs, or even main centered, you know, question solving exercise for, you know, uh, Indian polity, of course, the constitution and governance, even for Indian economy and, and you know, that uh, internal security. We have solved a lot of questions. Please, you know, that watch those videos to benefit more. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, it's not only that, it's not only me, more than 100 plus top educators of India part of an academy waiting to shape you. So please, you know, you know, make use of, you know, that the opportunities available part of an academy. Of course, when you talk about UPSC civil service examination, we have two major programs. Of course, you know, one plus program, another one is iconic program. What is this plus program? You got live classes, you got test series, you got unlimited practice sessions. You got structured schedule mechanisms part of this program 
and you know whether it is one month course or 36 months or three years course you got here whether it is subject specific module or prelims contains integrated program including optional subject or even for separate optional subjects you know and, and separate modules ladies and gentlemen choose what suits you of course depending upon the you know the time availability and your budget you can choose programs here ladies and gentlemen please use my referral code say success because I am success somebody interacting with you, right? You know, the, to benefit 10% of discount. But more than this plus program, we strongly recommend iconic program. Why iconic program? If you ask me, because you will be allotted a personal coach, a mentor to take care of your needs, to understand your nature, and to suggest you know that the so-called study planner accordingly. And also, you will be trained in terms of answer writing practices on everyday basis. We are I keep on telling this. Whether it is one year program, you know, three years program, you choose, you know, that what's suitable to you. Technically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, you end up paying mere 80 to 100 rupees if you calculate in terms of per day basis. This 80 to 100 rupees, not even, you know, that the expenditures, you know, that are towards your evening snacks, but you ensure your career, of course, ladies and gentlemen. Right. And uh, I, it's not only that, you know, all the op popular optional subjects, you know, for which we extend our support part of this an academy platform. Yes, let me repeat once again, you got programs here, you know, modules here, starting from one month to three years. Not only that, you know that whether it is 5K or, or 90K, you know, that the courses available. Not only that, use my referral code say success to avail maximum 10% discount. Ladies and gentlemen, this is right time. Let me take you to the very purpose and direction of, you know, that today's interaction. Meanwhile, you know that, let me welcome, you know, that all, all the viewers, of course, you know, that welcome to an academy, ladies and gentlemen, this is Success Sampathy interacting with you. Of course, you can type all your questions there, you know, and uh, you know that I'll be there to answer at the end of the session, not now. Yes, this is in continuation of the various sessions we had already, you know, part of, you know, that your, your general studies mains of UPSC civil service examination, especially the paper GS4. The very paper God introduced in, in 2013, you might be aware, given complexity, when society is moving from simple to complex, you have to understand those complex issues. You should have mechanism, you have to delegate people accordingly. So there, you know, that part of, you know, that administration, you know, that how the administrators should be trained or socialized to ask to meet the complexities on the part of the society. The very subject matter God introduced in 2013. Because when the bureaucracy is accused because of, you know, red tape is some procedural delay, nexus between criminals and politicians on the one hand, nexus between bureaucrats and politicians on the other in pulling down, you know, the, the very administration or scuttling the intentions of the governance mechanism. So there comes, you know, responsibility on the part of UPSC to train the young minds, you know, the, to, to capture the young minds especially and train, train them, you know, that in terms of ethics especially. <laughs> I think you got your co I believe. Right. So, 2013, you know, it's not only, really, maybe in the beginning you witnessed, you know, very simple questions, you know, definitional aspects, you know, based on basic concepts, but over the days you might be aware, the trend in terms of, you know, taking you to the world of, you know, public private partnership, you know, partnership, even the questions from, you know, corporate MNCs based. Not only that, the, the progressive complexity, what we are talking about, asking you to introspect, you know, that each and every ethical dilemma. The conflict you encounter, the contradictions you, you encounter in your day-to-day -day life when you are part of governance mechanism, the very ethical dilemma, of course, conflict of interest, you know, you are guided by this, you know, the standards or, or principles or value system part of ethics without compromising law and also make it more practical and flexible without silencing your inner voice. Ethics is more than law. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about that, the progressive complexity that you witness, you have to understand that way. So, we reflect that, you know, changing trends, part of this particular subject matter, say, ethics and integrity, the GS4, part of your, you know, the civil service examination, mains, main for your 250 marks. You please watch all my previous videos also, ethics and integrity, you know, the, the introduction and ethics in, you know, basic human values, ethics on the part of personal relation. And also, you know, that uh, uh, you, will, you will encounter this evening, ethics in social relations. This is ethics, you know, that in in the environmental domain we are talking about.
what is this you know ethics in the environmental domain that is what our you know the today's interaction you apply the same ethical standards but that goes beyond non human environment because you might be aware be kind to every kind not only mankind be kind to let me repeat once again be kind to every kind not only mankind and also you know that in previous videos also you know i mentioned this you please watch that you know according to you know that a saint valalar from south india you know that especially from nearby chidambaram badalur of course you know the nivar impacting that recently you might be aware you know that the neighborhood region yes near puducherry the very valalar badalur you know who said vaadiya payirai kandabodellam vaadine in tamil but don't worry you know let me translate in english people from other states i understand whenever i see a plant is dying i feel as if i am dying the jeeva karunya the principle of jeeva karunya you are no way different from you know that other species on the planet of the earth when there are creations there is a creator creator is not only the owner of you know you humanity we humanity there are other species also what's your obligation towards them that is what we call in the name of stewardship your obligation towards other species or other creations of the god it is not viewing the whole environment in terms of you know that the as if you got you know the dominance over the, the very environmental domain you know that aridu aridu manidarai perathil aridu of course we are conditioned that way uh, you know that you give you know supremacy to the human beings and also you know that giving subordination subordinate position to other species so who gave you this standard who suggested parameters for this judgmental attitude anthropocentrism we call it. and also you know that the animal ethics you know that for the sake of you know propagation of we species you know who gave you authority to eat other species chicken mutton you know in tamil odrathu nadakkarathu porathu parakkarathu you don't leave anything you know porathu you eat everything all <laughs> so that is the thing who gave you authority to you know that uh, don't say survival of the fittest natural selection but you know that uh, are you not you know even uh, the, the very video i mentioned the young kid you know there's a small girl you know that a uh, saying you know uh, i don't like to eat you know that fish i don't like to kill the fish it will be speaking this way i don't like to eat you know the chicken either because you know that parents will worry no so this way <laughs> the very chiva karunya extraordinary sensitivity that you see with the kid i'm really you know that stand by that of course but it will take some more time for us you know to give up even if you are you are surrounding of course you know that you know you talk about that you got variety of justifications for your you know that food style but that that consciousness i'm talking about and also you know that environmental justice you know hitherto centered around social justice human centric justice what about you know that the e waste m waste that you dump somewhere even construction waste that you see you know along the highways especially during the peak hours you know we hours people come and dump so that nobody witnessing that over agricultural lands especially what about the species you know that getting you know uh, uh, affected because of that the so called your environmental pollution or pollution all round how come you know you can take part in in complete you know peaceful demise of those species even the global warming 1 degree celsius rise you know completely wiping away 10% of you know that the species from the planet of the earth who gave you authority all this things you know that center around that we are talking about you know biocentrism you know that eco justice environmental justice environmental racism we call the planet of the earth not only for the human species you know human species there are other species too they should be accommodated in such a way so you have to conserve the planet of the year in such a way so all these things you know centered around this particular topic ladies and gentlemen of course you know that you apply the same ethical standards the principles either to you apply it for human society you go beyond that you also incorporate you know that non human environment not only biotic even abiotic today's interaction is centered around this that is german of course you know it is part of your ethics subject no doubt of course you know the context let me link with syllabus as well as you know questions and also you know that various you know that the values part of environmental ethics and also we are going to provide solution linking with previous your question to you know and as well as one case study ladies and gentlemen we are talking about that and not only that finally the resources to be consulted you know that so that you enrich your understanding you move to the next level i repeatedly mentioned this i become your foundation you build superstructure on this session by by working more 
I don't like to teach you. I don't like to, you know, that spoon feed you. I want to, I want to inspire you. The role of the teacher is not to teach, rather to inspire. Let me be, let me initiate you, let me persuade you. That's what my duty. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to bring laurels. Let me push you to some extent. But that you have to submit yourself. <laughs> it is not, you know, Katai Virithin, Kolvari like. It is not, you know, I speak, I am speaking alone. It should not be unilateral derivative. That should be take us. As long as you are sensitive, you will understand. You know, come on, rise your sensitivity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is right time. Let me take you, you know, that hope you understood the today's, you know, that interaction. What is the agenda? Of course, let me take you to the next level. Right. Yeah, this is what, you know, the, the, your, your syllabus, the ethics syllabus. We are talking about, you know, and before going there, let me talk. Why ethics? If you ask me, because day to day life, you encounter conflicting situations. Whether to do this or that. Should I, should I bribe this guy so as to, you know, that see my task is done or, should, you know, that should I not to do? Why should I do? Should I accept this bribe or let me do my duty without, without you know, that because I am paid salary? There you got. Day to day life. It's complete deviation. You know, that it, it's not, you know, that ideal life that you live not a perfect life because life is all about you know because you are conditioned in such a way life is not not about dealing with perfect things in the world you should know how to deal with imperfections in the world you are conditioned these guys are you know that uh, conditioning justifying all those imperfections happening in the world they expect you to because one one guy indulged in corruption or any other thing he's he's waiting to train other guy the same way he becomes a role model in that particular social circle because you know you will be labeled by your own community if you are man of state forward or honesty eh, he's nothing he's waste he's not good eh, he's good person but doesn't know how to live <laughs> but he's not successful person eh? the, the societal opinion <laughs> Not even understanding the six feet. Huh? You don't even need six feet. One tumbler ash. One cup of ash. The electric crematorium. Hope you understand. You came with nothing. You go with nothing. Why all this drama in between? If you don't understand, you know that if you understand this spirit, all your actions will get rationalized. There you come to know economic development at the cost of, you know, that environmental sustainability. Your economic development should not be at the cost of, you know, that a, a section of population where you, you never compromise, you know, that social development. Otherwise, your economic development in the name of, you know, that your industries, corporate MNCs ultimately, you know, that adding more carbon in the atmosphere or polluting, you know, that are contaminating the groundwater table and spoiling the agricultural lands in the name of, you know, that water effluence from industries. And that ultimately people come and protest in the streets, causing law and order situ situation that where people are getting divided. That affects, you know, social solidarity. Then you've got, you know, that and ultimately it is not talking about in terms of law, according to law, what law, according to constitution, is it fair? The justice. That is why you've got amendment. Na? Law, you know, a law without social sanction is ineffective. The law becomes obsolete as, you know, the, and it is not delivering, you know, the, the intentions of the people. Right. It is that way, you know, that it is not always talking about, you know, this is my fundamental right, basic right. Have you discharged your duties? Don't ask what the nation has done to you. Ask yourself what you have done to the nation. Of course, let me recall John F. Kennedy. When you, when you, when you pinpoint, you know, that as somebody else, three fingers already looking at you. Have you discharged your duties effectively? That is why the Constitution of India is not only talking about fundamental rights, you know, part 3 of the Constitution between Article 12 to 35, you got fundamental duties also. They are almost like two sides of a single coin. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not, you know, that the competing, we all, you know, that uh, nations in the world, let's come together so as to mitigate the reduce, you know, that uh, uh, the pollution, greenhouse gases to the, you know, that uh, uh, to the pre-1990s level part of Kyoto Protocol. Hey, stop, stop, stop. When you were polluting this world, who asked you this question? You polluted, you became rich, now you got advanced technology, now you got recycling mechanism, now you started dictating terms. Whenever I, developing country or underdeveloped country, trying to establish you know, industry, you question, is it eco-friendly? Who asked this particular question when you are, you know, the polluting? The atmosphere? I, you know, I'm not saying that I'm also going to pollute. You got responsibility. You have to give us some time. 
you give us some fund, you also share with us technology. So this is what collective but differentiated responsibility. It is not we all come together. Of course, we all, you know, we've got collective responsibility, but you got more, more responsibility than me. Give us more time. So that is what where we talk about compatibility on Kyoto Protocol, climatic change, United Nations Framework Convention on Climatic Change, United Nations Environment Program, Conference of Party Meetings, the Paris Climatic Agreement, everything we are talking about. So it is not, you know, the competing, you know, we have to compete each other in, in, in mitigating, reducing the, the pollution, of course, but compatibility. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Mahatma Gandhi said, you know, one of the seven sins, you know, politics without principles. That's what I keep on mentioning. Eh? Whether, you know, avoiding contracts to uh, own in-laws, you know, that's what happening. You know, people from Tamil Nadu, well aware, the, the Tamil Nadu government corruption is otherwise called 42%. Uh, everything came, even the Dr. Ponraj used to mention that in the article, the Kalam's advice. You might be aware. And you, you, what is your state's corruption? You just, what's this transparency international? Of course, we are going to bring. <laughs> indices. Eh? So what about, you know, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, we are living, it has become part of the life. So the politics, you know, political corruption, bureaucratic corruption, corporate corruption. As an individual, you also indulge in bribing officials so as things, you know, otherwise, you know, the file will not move. You know what's happening. So the politics without principles, you know, that we are talking about, political corruption, one of the seven sins according to Mahatma Gandhi. So, you know, that you talk about, you know, the switching over loyalty by political, the, the MPs, MLAs, of course, though in spite of the anti-defection law, we are talking about what drama happening, the horse trading. So, even SR Bombay case, you might be aware the judgment, you know, that the, the strength of the assembly should be proved on the floor of the house, not in the star hotel. What happened in Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, you might be aware all those drama, ladies and gentlemen. Social mobility, it is not social progress. It is like, you know, that even Dr. Kiran Bedi, madam, you know, when I was interacting with her, that she was fantastic, you know, that even, see, for every one hour she is releasing, uh, you know, that the, the data, uh, how the Nivar is impacting. <laughs> oh my God, we want people like this. We want people like this. Extraordinary performance, you know, it's not, you know, the a rubber stamp, you know, what the governor or lieutenant garner post, she is making difference there. I really appreciate her. You know that she was telling, it is not your focus should not be on economic progress, rather purpose and direction. I appreciate. That's, that's the, the true spirit of John F. Kennedy. Even in every session I mentioned this. Today's purpose and what is the direction. It is not, you know, that the courage and the efforts what you take. The purpose and direction matters a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, so it is not how the society is progressing. And is it, you know, progressing in a balanced way? It is not keeping the section of the population out of the growth process after that you declare the world, I progress. <laughs> See, the tribal people are said to be part and parcel of the forest. According to forest, you know, that uh, 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 the Dwellers Act, you might be aware, 2006. They've got access to us, all, all forest produce, the minor forest produce, including, you know, even the definition of bamboo, bamboo got altered, you might be aware. Bamboo got altered, you know, that they've got every right to access all those, all those you know, minors. Uh, the minor forest produce part of the forest. They are considered as part and parcel of the forest. When you when you go with you know big projects encroaching upon their sphere, is it not you know the section of population is getting destroyed or you know that neglected or kept out of the growth process? You try to understand the unique problems on the part of you know those people. They are the first people, Adivasis. They are the native indigenous people. We are the encroachers. In the name of you know development. So economic development should not, you know, that should not be at the cost of, you know, that section of population or keeping the section of population out of the process. That leads to, you know, that social movement, pressure group that affects law and order. That is what it is not. The progress should not be, you know, that imbalanced. There should be a balance. You have to address, understand the unique problems on the part of, you know, that the, the, the tribal people, the endangered species on the part of the environment. Of course, even, you know, that uh, environment impact assessment, the, the proposal, what we are talking about, various think tanks, you know, from various, you know, that established uh, the top academic institution in India, they became signatories, more than 500 people. They gave that proposal to the Union uh, Ministry of, you know, Forest, Environment, Climate Change. You might be aware. They said, why, you know, you got a class even in animals. The way you celebrate tiger, the way you celebrate elephant, other species are not taken into account. Why this discrimination among animals? That is a cry. That's fantastic. 
even the very you know proposals not reaching the the very people tribal people there is no sufficient time in the name of you know strategic pro project the government is not ready to share the exact details about the you know that uh, the proposal everything that goes against the local population there there are a lot of controversies we are talking about of course it is not social progress or economic development that economic development at the cost of what we talk about this is what ethics ladies and gentlemen and also you know that it is not you know simply ruling the governing mechanism and also you talk about good governance in terms of responsibility accountability transparency in administration but we want ethical governance the polluter must pay as i said just now the corporate social responsibility you became rich by exploiting the resources meant for this region this is your payback time you know a part of your transaction you know that you just spend on that particular region community development maybe you build hospital education institutions community center you provide employment yes so this is about corporate social responsibility and also take care of you know that environment if at all got damaged and go for recycling mechanism we have discussed one case study also in previous video how that you know chemical industry is affecting the the, the effluents you know affecting the water otherwise contaminating the groundwater table affecting the agricultural lands you have to do that damage control using that money corporate social responsibility the scientist it is not mere r and d is really benefiting the betterment of humanity even the non human environment even that works towards you know the sustainable development the scientific social responsibility that is why you know that we don't want world you know that otherwise we want the world free from the weapons of mass destruction chemical biological weapons they are working towards you know that uh, uh, the very uh, 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 you know that uh, sustainable development even it is right time to recall you know mahatma gandhi ji the planet of the earth has got all the resources to us to meet one's need not the greed there is a joy thing the planet of the earth has got all the resources to us to meet one's need not the greed there is no limit and keep on emphasizing the minister buying two floors in burj khalifa tamil nadu minister <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i leave it to the people eh? let them teach lesson to them ladies and gentlemen it's that way of course you understand the ethical governance you know governance should be based on principles which is more it's not compromising law more than law when you see limitations because of the law you go beyond that you use principles like you know suppose the government of india of course this is a question i'm talking about you know that this is a question when you talk about so the previous question especially 2018 question which is related to this environmental ethics domain how the questions a lot of questions available you know time constraints you know that let me address one only one question and one case study after elaborating environmental ethics you know you understand you know it it's it gives you know the basic understanding you can work more on that you know there will be separate sessions you know to discuss more case studies more previous your questions don't worry at all i want you know i want you to understand how the questions are asked how the case studies are asked you know well out of 2 250 marks you know 120 marks in a main for your uh, theories you know that uh, of this ethics the various values and also the thinkers the contributors the administrators you know that maybe the, the religious spirit and and elites of course you know that the philosophers even and 120 marks but whereas 130 marks application of this in in practice that is what you get you know case study where you witness ethical dilemma conflict of interest then you are supposed to go for introspection and analyze merits and demerits and choose you know that uh, right kind of steps or action to provide ethical solution that is what your case study meant for 130 marks let us german you know that how the questions are asked come on suppose the government of india is thinking constructing a dam of course you know you might be aware in gujarat sardar sarovar dam got constructed of course to be part of the solution you know that immediately addresses that the problem faced by the agricultural farmers you know in terms of water that will supply you know regular uh, supply of water for agriculture and also meeting the immediate demands of you know that uh, 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 the drinking water potable water and the part of you know that neighborhood cities of course in ahmedabad you know that and so on we are talking about but it is not free from the controversies you know because the, the dam height because of the inundation of water and also you know that the, the flora fauna the species getting submerged 
otherwise the population you know that the 40000 the families got you know that emerged how the compensation paid how the rehabilitation and resettlement so it is you know the temples of modern india pandit jawaharlal nehru said you know talking about dam but when you try to construct a dam so as to be meet the demands or needs to resolve various issues on the part of you know that uh, the very administration of course the people needs it's not free from controversies yes same way suppose the government of india is thinking uh, you know that of construction of a dam dam you talk about in the mountain valley bound by forest come on the syllabus came <laughs> and inhabited by ethnic communities again reinforcement there you got environmental ethics syllabus over <laughs> This question, it's not construction of dam so as to meet, you know, that uh, the water scarcity or, you know, to meet, you know, agricultural demands. No. Now you link with the environmental ethics. This is what we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, what rational policy should it resort to in dealing with, you know, unforeseen contingencies? How prepared, you know, that the, the, the policy should be in such a way, you know, of course, you know, to meet out all those, you know, that the challenges. Uh, rehabilitation resettlement otherwise you know that the compensation and what about the species you know that otherwise you know that uh, uh, have you you know that went for a proper seismic zone you know that analysis there so that the pressure exerted by the stored water you know that should not burst somewhere else should not you know induce earthquake somewhere else about all these things what about the, the forest people getting affected? You know, that it is that way. You know, so many things we are talking about. Is it affecting, you know, that uh, uh, reducing the forest cover in that particular region? So, you know, that is it going against the forest policy of India? We are talking so many ways. I am simply talking about giving you idea. So, how the questions are asked, how it is relevant to the environmental ethics we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that way. Of course, you know, let me take you to the, you know, that uh, next level. Of course, it is the right time. We have to discuss environmental ethics. You know, this is very, very important unit given the fact, right, we are talking about sustainable development. Even the prelims, the environmental science, you get a lot of questions. It means GS portion. Forget about this paper four. Even, you know, you got a lot of environment-based questions, you know, very well. The disaster management, everything, the global warming. Of course, you know, even NIVAR, we are talking about the, the November and December. The months in India, you might be aware, called disaster months. The very Delhi becomes gas chamber and because of, you know, that during Diwali season, the, the, you know, that the smoke, smoke plus fog, you know, the, the, the staple burning in the neighborhood states. Of course, I appreciate Delhi government, you know, especially under Arvind Kejriwal came up with solution, you know, that uh, the sprinkling of decomposes, ultimately, you need not burn the staple. Ultimately, you know, that becomes, you know, that organic manure, you might be aware. So, they are part of the solution. Let's appreciate. They try to control and also, you know, that the ban on crackers, you know, during Diwali times, it's not only that state, even uh, the, you know, the Karnataka administration also did that way. And of course, you might be aware, but it had impact, you know, that Sivakasi, Little Japan got affected, the employees, they should be given alternate, you know, that employment, you know, the government, central and state government should think in that way. Your celebration should not be at the cost of very living, that comes. And also when it comes to, you know, that the Chennai, you might be aware, the very flood, what we are talking about, Northeast monsoon. The encroachment, that's what I say, the Chola administration is well known for its own management of water bodies we are talking about. Of course, you know that even in the Chennai nearby regions, Nungam Bakkam, Puridi Vakkam, Velacheri, Yeri, Pakkam, Vakkam, you know that, uh, 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 the Karanai, Suranai, <laughs> Yendal, all those terms are, you know, that meant for water bodies. But all those, you know, that what I names, you know, what I pronounce, they are part of, you know, the main city, the Chennai metropolitan city. The complete encroachment, I am questioning, you know, that what about, you know, authorities, the government officials, the politicians, the nexus, even the, you know, that the greedy people, the encroachment, you know, that otherwise the, 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 uh, the uh, land mafia, real estate mafia in connivance with the blessings of the support of the, the bureaucratic and political mechanism. Now they were encroached. What happened, you know, that of course when Jayalitha was alive, you know, that uh, the very Chambarambakam river, you know, that was, you know, that allowed to release more water. They are saying one report, but you know that at the end, you know that Adyar river, it's, it's more than one lakh, you know, Qsex complete inundation. I think the same scene that we are waiting for another, you know, that uh, uh, a storm also. We are talking about cyclone, ladies and gentlemen. So all these things, you know, ultimately, the, you know, that the Chennai becomes, you know, great, you know, that great bath, like Mohanjadaro great bath. The disaster, the encroachment, so it's not a need, greed. We are asking, you know, that every, every year, you know, that December, you know, that the, the people are worried. 2015, a very, very clear-cut case. Even Prime Minister came and, you know, had aerial view. 
and also you know the package announcement you know all those things we are talking about ladies and gentlemen the loss of life and livelihood of the people yes so you have to we have to understand you know that so it, it is not blaming you know global warming the, the, the man made disaster i am talking about the disaster management authority of course crpf in place so it is not it, it is you know reactive let us be proactive otherwise let us not be inactive <laughs> i am talking about so the visionary policies in such a way so that you know to avert some kind of situations in the future also we are talking about so reactionary mechanisms we don't have that's what i'm talking about ladies and gentlemen of course you know that all my you know that aspirants all my kids i'm saying once you become officer i want you to be proactive you should be the role model in your administration wherever you go otherwise you throw it's not it cannot be done by one guy have a team form a team do it as a team it's possible it's possible when the task is great the huge you know that you need a team definitely you know that you work with your network in, in to be part of the solution i suggest you that way for that you should be a role model you know how you should be it is not you know simply preaching practicing of course let us judgment so the environmental ethics i'm talking about of course today's interaction what is this it is extending the traditional boundaries of ethics hitherto we applied for mere human society solely to the human world now we are taking this to the non human world from you know for flora fauna the whole ecosystem the biodiversity not only living even non living biotic and abiotic that is what environmental ethics you know applying the principles of ethics even in the non human extending to the non human environment let us judge not only that the ethical decisions you know that of human beings make you know that uh, with respect to the environment this is all about environmental ethics as i said you know vallalars jeeva kanuniya principle vaadi payirai kandabodellam vaadi nen when i see a plant is dying in front of me i feel as if i am dying of course you call jc bose also jagadish chandra bose talked about plant sensitivity <laughs> the clearing forest for the sake of you know the human consumption who gave you authority the people say man animal conflict you know you know in our locality animal came you know snakes came no hello you encroach their domains they did not come to your place even you know that i am sitting you know next to my uh, at the window you know the pigeons used to but i you know uh, I sometimes you know we say hey come on oh oh <laughs> you know the meaning is that we have encroached the, the pigeons place the, you know that the construction done maybe once upon a time it would have been they don't have place to go they are keep on coming visiting clearing forest in the name of human settlements the real estates are in the name of resorts building you know to address you know that the tourism demands are building up roads who give you authority clearing forests you know the for the sake of human consumption it is that way continuation of propagation you know we grow as a human society at the cost of you know by eating all those you know chicken mutton fish everything whatever comes in your way even plants who gave you authority don't say no this is what life you know that the, uh, the life cycle no one eating another to perpetuate the species or race if you are eaten up that way will you tolerate the cannibalism practice you don't tolerate na something in the andaman nicobar even in the movie kalapani you know that you would have watched that cannibalism practice you know man eating another man huh huh <laughs> they're talking about you know uh, how come you know that you 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 you, you deplore otherwise you you disapprove but when 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 it comes to eating other species for the sake of you your propagation of species you know you tolerate who gave you authority you know one day you know because of the thing you know why don't you become wise of those wiseless there are people for animals you might be able we are talking about you know that that is the thing and there are you know the, the more consciousness in this direction of days of course the environmental obligations for the future generation the very plan of the earth you have not only for the sake of you are living it should not be at the cost of future generation we say it is not compromising you know that the very livelihood the life of future generation the growth should not be at the cost of future generation the growth that last not l o s t l e a s t the growth that lasts forever we are talking about sustainable development you speak if at all you know that the very plan of the earth what you received do you hand over the same plan of the earth to the future generation the legacy you talk about global warming el nino la nina all drone pollution exhaustion of fossil fuels fossil fuels 
and there are according to world bank report you know the, the, most of the metropolitan cities you know that they are going to have severe water crisis in future are you aware what measures you have taken so far you know to conserve those you know the scarce resources you're talking about that way ladies and gentlemen so uh, the moment you have that consciousness that will rationalize all of your actions the consumption pattern and of course you know that parallel i'm asking you know the governments you should work on strengthening public transportation transportation system thanks to that metro men you know the dmrc shri sridharan and what about you know that you know every city it should be implemented every b town also it should be implemented which is you know eco friendly you might be aware and what about you know that when public transportation system is strong the people will start you know that getting discouraged from, from using their own you know two wheelers or four wheelers and in turn reducing exhaustion of the fossil fuel there comes you know role and responsibility on the part of the government of course we are talking about of course you know that so it is extinction of the species for the convenience of the humanity for the sake of you know that your comfort you know that you talk about you know when you go to and there are you know that ethnic food varieties everywhere you hear if you if you go to you know that one uh, but of course in tamil nadu you know it's not only in tamil nadu every state the ethnic food variety of course the, the chicken mutton fish egg variety you know of course if you pay 1000 rupees you will get all in one single in you know, a banana leaf for the sake of your comfort celebration feast you know that how many uh, species you have killed you know standing in front of you the died eh? but you are very much worried about mosquito you know that uh, came and sat on your food but you are not you know ignoring you know parallelly that you know a goat a fish a chicken got killed in front of your eyes but you are very much keen you know you see see you know that there is ant there is mosquito on my food on my biryani you ignore conveniently parallelly you know that the species you got killed in the name of non vegetarian food even the very vegetable plant who is going to answer all these parents of you know vegetables the flora fauna it is extraordinary sensitivity of course sir then you can't eat anything there comes another argument there is a gentleman so extinct you know what what i am talking about because of the thing you started eating everything now we are worried about the extinction of those species they come under you know that the endangered species list international conservation union uh, uh, for nature you might be icun iucn your international union for conservation of nature we are talking about the, the endangered list you know the red list everything hello <laughs> endangered species extinction of species the government ultimately announced you know every region the nilgiri thar and you know that the national animal of course peacock tiger project black buck salman case you might be aware <laughs> oh my god so extinction of the species for you know that the, the convince the, for the for the sake of the convenience of the humanity ladies and gentlemen not for survival convenience comfort feast greedy the best use and conservation of the space environment to secure ex and and to expand you know that uh, other life there even the very space you know that of course you know one day fine morning it is going to be completely you know crowded by satellites one day one day fine morning there is going to be war you know between you know two nation satellite the, the, the all satellites will be equipped in such a way there will be traffic there <laughs> yeah the sky lab i think you know once it came down fortunately it fell in arabian sea you know that arabian sea i think i believe that way and and think about you know that those Uh, things you know coming and falling you know that ultimately impacting the planet of the earth how the very space is utilized in such a way so as to benefit the humanity instead of polluting them we are talking about that way ladies and gentlemen so you know the, for for secure and expanded life of course you know the spacex you know elon musk you know should be appreciated maybe he understood you know that the the, the, the earth alone you know that uh, 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 should not house you know humanity why can't we you know that exploit the resources for a solar system the you know earth human should be interplanetary species you know that on the one hand let one hand let me appreciate him his efforts that the, the humanity should not be limited by you know that earth alone why can't we explore other planets why can't we go there and settle down of course his space tourist concept by his you know that the technology reducing the cost of launching you know that rocket you know the falcon you might be aware what happened recently you know that in collaboration with nasa you might be aware the space tourist and taking people to international space station we appreciate but i am asking parallelly another question from your environmental ethics angle so you know that you are you are tired by exploiting the planet of there you want to exploit other planets also now you want to encroach other planets too for the sake of exploiting them contaminating them so you know that uh, you you go beyond the constraints of you know planet of the earth to embrace the whole solar system to exploit <laughs> 
Oh my God. It's not, it's not, you know, the you know, other side of the coin I'm talking about from environmental ethics angle. Hello. It is, but of course, you know that it, it's seeing from this angle I'm talking about. It's not parallelly question, you know, that questioning his efforts, of course, you know, that he's doing something. But let them have this consciousness too, I'm talking about. Of course, you know that what I spoke in the name of, you know, that applying the principles of ethics, the standards of the ethics from human environment to, you know, that uh, go beyond that non-human environment also for flora, fauna, for biotic or biotic we are talking about that we are going to discuss in terms of various values, uh, you know, that letter, you know, that letter and spirit. I think, you know, see, this is what, you know, that you are keep on talking about, uh, you know, that uh, among all species, we are the higher order. Who gave this? Probably you don't know, maybe with, with, with the little knowledge you have, you know, you have come to the conclusion. You may not be knowing there may be some other species, you know, maybe visible, invisible species, maybe brilliant than you. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe in other planets which you don't know, you are yet to explore. How come you can conclude? We are talking this way, the aridu, aridu, monitor, I prepare aridu, you know, that it is, it, is, it is rare and rare to be born as, you know, highest order of species we say human being. With little knowledge what we have, you know, that I question this knowledge first of all. Maybe with limited knowledge we come to the conclusion that could be some other, you know, that the planet's housing the very advanced species than human beings. The aliens, you know, we don't know about. Of course, we are talking about, you know, the anthropocentrism, this particular value talking about, you know, the human beings are central, that is what we consider. You know, that, but this, this drawing is wrong. This guy should come the, the center. There should be another drawing. And you know that <laughs> this this notion. Otherwise, you you treat you know as if you are supreme. You, you can have another drawing also, keeping yourself central or keeping you know that you are in supreme position. So the human beings treated as central. Otherwise, you know the most significant of species on the planet of the earth. That's what we deal. How you know that as if you know that that humanity has got human society has got moral status or value which is higher than that of the other organisms. This, this notion. This is called anthropocentrism, anthropo, anthropo, anthropology, study about, you know, primitive human being. Otherwise, anthropo, men of modern type, homo sapien, first appeared on the surface of the earth, the homo sapien, 10,000 years ago, especially the Pleistocene, part of that Holocene period, you might be aware. The anthropo, keeping, you know, the human center, otherwise, the humanity, the human society as the center we are talking about. So, assessment of reality through exclusively, you know, that human, you see everything only from human perspective, not from other species perspective, flora, fauna, visible or invisible things, or even from, you know, that biotic and abiotic we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, this tendency is called anthropocentrism. We are talking about it is interchangeably used with other terms like, you know, human centrism, human supremacy, human exceptionalism, you call it. Ladies and gentlemen, you understand the value what I am talking about? So, these are all the values on the part of environmental ethics. One by one, we are going to discuss. Let me give you the code. You know, probably I will be giving you the code, you know, that A squared E, I am talking about, you know, that the C square also you take into account. You know, let me give you the code E to the power 4. Then, yes. What is that? Here, anthropocentrism, animal ethics. You know, that I am going to talk about, you know, that the very thing you are talking about, biocentrism. When we talk about 2C, of course, you have to understand, here I am talking about conservative, conservation ethics or climatic ethics. When we talk about, you know, that E to the power, I, you know, that 4, I am talking about two types of, you know, that uh, justice and two types of, you know, that uh, other value system. Of course, you talk about, you know, eco-justice, environmental justice, environmental racism, eco-centrism, I, I'm, because I should not commit mistake. While spelling. Of course, you know that stewardship we are talking about finally. So, it is that way. This is what the code for, you know, environmental ethics. Keep it. You know A, B, C, D, na? A, B, C, D, E. But here you don't have D. A, B, C, D, no D, E, then yes. Because, you know, it's environmental ethics or environmental science. Of course, you treat that way. Environmental science or environmental ethics. You keep in that, you know. You, you have to, you know, it's very easier for you. You never forget, of course. A squared, B, C squared, E to the power 4, yes. Anthropocentrism, animal ethics, we talk about, you know, that uh, the biocentrism, conservation ethics, climatic ethics, 
eco you know that uh, justice environmental justice environmental a, a racism ecocentrism and stewardship got the idea i am discussing you know that we just finished anthropocentrism let me take you to another ethics of course animal ethics you just see people say ganya pigs or rat you used for even in your plus 2 biology class you know that you, you did that crucifixion of rat you did dissection everything you did you just imagine if anybody is doing for you yeah you are done the operation theater during surgery when you are gone ill <laughs> you know jesus crucifixion like maybe <laughs> you just imagine yourself if people are doing you know that uh, 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 you know surgery over you like this will you tolerate the whole family will be down your loved one and and don't you think you know that way uh, this rat <laughs> because you know you don't take into account you know that even that animal has got its own intrinsic value maybe see it is not you know that i am not expecting you to be ideal you know after this lesson you know that lesson it's not possible i know you will listen everything happily and finally you know that you will be ordering come on one chicken please <laughs> you'll go to biryani shop you know chicken mutton i know who you are <laughs> you know that after i said i will i will eat you know chicken biryani after that i will study environmental ethics chapter sir i know who you are <laughs> eh? you know more or less you know we are all hypocrite right huh? ladies and gentlemen so this you know the all the research you know the who gave you authority see you go you know that what the dark continent you know that it's racism the, you know that the very african continent most of the top medicines are you know that there tested especially over you know the poor people forget about here even in india the rural area there are doctors running you know the small clinics there you know what happens right ultimately when the poor people coming for some ailments you know, they will you know that uh, saying one treatment they will take away all those you know the kidneys you know important parts kidney transplantation the racket you know that uh, 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 unearth are you aware of this the same way you know that the people the uh, the top medicines you know that uh, you know that uh, uh, injected into them they, you know in the name of you know all those non governmental organization it's done in africa the dark continent people yet to be aware of all this thing so on people themselves you know you do <laughs> in india it is rural poor population in african continent you know the people yet to realize that they are subjected to the exploitation and the same way you know you do in your laboratory the ganya pigs we say the, the, you know that you put under experiment the testing you know when you want to verify all those parameters you administer on the rat the, the, the clinical laboratory so you don't realize that even that animal as an animal it has got intrinsic intrinsic value but what happened right you know that this munjur of course you know that this small rat you know it's vagana for you know that lord ganesha you got ganavidi papa moria but have you, <laughs> you know that when you, when you worship lord ganapati you know that uh, uh, don't you witness that vagana you know his vehicle great vehicle lord murga of course you know peacock the garuda the snake ragu kedu the cow worship the dog bhairava but north eastern sir you know that eating dog i heard and you know that some south east asian countries you know fantastically staple food fish you might be the even a frog you might be no see it is it is that way as you eat you know cow here you know that you know that there is cow vigilant you know we are talking about it and even the the the, the chicken Uh, you know that, uh, that, that you know you talk about you know wahana you know that uh, lord murga but but chicken is very famous the poultry industry hello <laughs> oh my god ladies and gentlemen of course you know that intrinsic value you know that the animal of every animal you know that if you take into account that called animal ethics so animals possess you know that its own right it's not a means animals are not means for you know that survival of other you know that animals other species they should be treated that particular you know that the value inherent on the part of animal should not be treated as means rather it should be treated as end in itself that is the end so animals possess its own right as an end in itself as opposed to the instrumental value of other animals as if you know that you know the ulagathil ulla anaithu padaippugalume namakkagave so you think you know all the creations are only you know that at the disposal of your con, you know the consumption it's not that way you take it for granted ladies and gentlemen we talk that way so you know that so it is instrumental value to other animals including human being we are talking about that way 
So, the, you know, that comes, you know, that, uh, of course, you know, 1981 Act, you have to understand the Dutch Animal Health Welfare Act, you know, from that, we get, we get the spirit of this animal ethics, you know, part of environmental ethics. What is that? The acknowledgement of the intrinsic value of the animals means the animals have value in their own right. And as a consequence, their interests are no longer automatically subordinate to man's interests. It is not supreme, uh, uh, subordinate or superordinate relationship between we and humans, you know, the we and other species. There should be equal treatment. So, the moment you know that you treat them as, you know, that means you become end. But you have to treat each and every animal as if they have got intrinsic value. They should be treated as, you know, that particular value end in itself. It is not a means to other animals, including humans. That was the point. The spirit you get from this. Based on, you know, Dutch animal, you know, the Health Welfare Act 1981, you understand, ladies and gentlemen, it is because of that, there comes, you know, that all round debate everywhere in, in the world of animal husbandry, the breeding, the poultry farming, you know, everywhere, all those, you know, that grown in such a way so that you eat well. It's, it's a debate, ethical debate, animal breeding, you know, that animal husbandry, you know, that the part of, you know, uh, uh, the agriculture sector, you talk about allied sector, so as to meet, you know, that the survival of the human needs. Because you talk about human justice, it is all, all laws, legal mechanisms you have centered around the human welfare, but not talking about, you know, animal welfare. That, of course, you know, there came, you know, that uh, later evol evolution that is different, animal breeding and also you go for VV section, you know, animal testing, you administer in a particular animal to see the parameters verified or not. Of course, you know, our forefather, the, the chimpanzee, you know, that you take into account, you know, to verify so that closely related to human. And also the use of, you know, that the microorganisms, you know, biotechnology we are talking about. Did you get the permission of those, you know, microorganisms prior to using that? Even the, the, the weapons of mass destruction, chemical and biological weapons, you go for, use microorganisms for the destruction of humanity. How come you can use them without their consent? Who gave you authority? The debate goes on. It is German, it is that way we are talking about, of course, you know, that you, you got the spirit, you know, that this is about animal ethics. Ladies and gentlemen, not only that, let me take you to the next, you know, that ethics. Of course, you know, that biocentrism, you know, that you have to, the, the, the life should be the center of everything. The life of not only humanity, the life of, you know, uh, uh, the, the plants, animals, the visible, invisible forms of life we are talking about. So, the ethical point of view, you know, that, that is what in political, ecological sense, this, ethic, this, is, this becomes ethical point of view, you know, that you address the living, the living centric, you know, that the ethics we are talking about, the life centric, you know, ethics we are talking about. There is gentlemen, it is that way. So, inherent value to, to all living things, not only the humanity, even for plants, even for animals, you know, that the life is, you know, everything has got its own life. Whatever may be the size, the small creatures may be visible, even invisible forms of life. Even abiba, single cell, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, life you are talking about. The very microorganisms, uh, you know, that utilize on the part of, you know, biotechnology or genetic engineering, just now we spoke. The inherent value, it is not the size. Eh? There is, you know, that even former vice chancellor of Anna University, uh, he used to say, you know, that I used to tell him, it's not I tell them, you know, that I used to tell my friends, you know, that, uh, yeah, uh, even my friends used to somehow go for big car. Okay, I've got sedan, that's okay, da. No, no, you go for big fortune, whatever like. Just take it. Okay, we can, when it is necessity. Necessity is mother of invention. But they will say, no, no, that, that's fantastic people. So, you know, that there came one uh, video. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Balaguru Swami, you know, he is a very gentleman, you might be. I met him once at the temple, very nice man, lot of reforms. He was once UPSC uh, uh, board member on the part of interview also, Vice Chancellor of Anna University. He was making, you know, in that particular video, he said, the quality of the person is not decided by the size of the car you own. Over. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That opened up immediately. Oh, what is this? See, he was talking, you know, that sometimes, you know, that, uh, of course, you know, that it's almost like, you know, your, your father, your grandpa coming and instructing you, that you open up. Because, you know, he, when he was, you know, you know, but let me also, it's a story, but I'm going to compare here. Yeah, because, you know, see, this is nothing, subject is nothing. You understand, this is life value. 
because as you know vice chancellor of anna university he used to drive by you know small maruti car but all those guys you know the self financing colleges one us you know they will come with you know mercedes benz you know that the, the suv everything they say sir we will uh, no 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 he said no because he will go as a vice chancellor to give approval to those guys you know waiting there standing in queue somewhat they are amazed wealth by corruption or our political backing you might be aware how <laughs> uh, oh my god so he will go yeah, you know he is very tall uh, gigantic personality but he will he sit you know uh, uh, in in very maruti 800 and go and park you know that there will be cars parked there a big big suvs you know mercedes benz you know that audi all those stuffs even fortuner in spite of the request he used to make this statement so that's fantastic the same thing so the size of the car never decides your quality ladies and gentlemen hope you understand you know that that will rationalize your action when you needed you got seven members in your family definitely you have to when you got you know two people three people but but a big family so i am not deciding you now what car you should purchase but all this you know that the values will rationalize all of your actions you know let me recall once again that the consumption you know the consumption should not be at the cost of future generation there comes warren buffett if you buy things which you don't need you ultimately you have to sell all the things you badly needed so all these value systems are pillar concepts in life they define how to lead the life come back the same way the size of the you know that living creature never decides the you know that the environmental ethics only you know the greater animal should be taken care of then you go for jumbo animal or dinosaur like so you have to take into account even invisible forms of life even microorganisms you know that the, the you know that should be considered in such a way each and every life has got its own inherent value that way it's not the size of the creature that decides value system okay it is that way even invisible forms of life should be taken into account as if it has got value ladies and gentlemen that's a parallel comparison ladies and gentlemen i think you understood so an understanding of how earth works you have it is a, it is a, it's a, the system in such a way the biodiversity the ecosystem works in such a way you know that uh, uh, one respecting another it's, it's complement it is not one at the cost of another it complements in such a way so as to ensure the survival of the, the whole planet of uh, the earth you have to understand this principle ladies and gentlemen i'm talking about an understanding of how earth works related to biodiversity yes so stands this stands in contrast to anthropocentrism because you know you go for human centric mere human centric alone it is living being centric you know that uh, uh, the value system irrespective of the size of the species i'm talking about maybe visible invisible forms of life you know that centers you know that you know the anthropocentrism you know centered around the, the humanity but it is you know all living being invisible you know the visible forms of life we are talking about so it is it is to say it is nature based not not mere human based that is what biocentric there is a german you understand now then you start preserving you start respecting each and every life that way hope you understood let us german let me take you to the next value system hope you understood it is you know that the continuation it's not i'm sorry some more points you know to be discussed you know that i'm hasty here so biocentrism it is it doesn't apply the idea of equality among animal kingdom so idea of equality among animal kingdom you know you, it doesn't apply you know what happened so the, the biocentrism you know it talks about you know that so the very anthropocentrism is not at all applying the idea of equality because you don't treat animals sometimes you know in our day to day life we gone to the extent see our you know that uh, the kids and their friends you know that our relatives how they are you know labeling the dog you know that dog he's a pig <laughs> oh my god so the derogatory remarks sometimes you know that the same animals use for different singam le eh hey, singam singam 1 singam 2 eh bengal tiger eh <laughs> tiger wala eh huh? you talk about but you know see how discrimination you, you are selectively using some animals you know to to eulogize to add value to you and use some animals you know who gave you authority to discriminate among animals hello <laughs> how come you can you know that go that use derogatory remarks like dog pig even you know that uh, uh, you worship cow people say you know that madu in tamil madu the cow cattle uh, cattle class once you know that uh, uh, narayana murthy you know that of infosys his missus you know that uh, uh, the madam sudha murthy you know that we have i've got my own respect towards narayana murthy i appreciate the people with value system you need people like that you know you move to the next they take humanity to the next level 
Of course, there comes, you know, foundation from Sudha Murthy, you might be a very simple lady. Because of her simplicity, she was, you know, criticized, especially in the UK. I think, you know, the Heathrow, the London airport, especially, you know, that the foreigners said, you know, why these cattle class people are standing here thinking that, you know, she is poor girl, poor lady like that. They weren't knowing that, you know, she is wife of, you know, that the, the, the great MNC, you know, uh, 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 in, the, in the world. Of course, you know, I, let me say IT world, Infosys, corporate MNC. Uh, the, the wife of you know the, and also founder she gave 10,000 rupees to you know that Narayana Murthy that resulted in the establishment of Infosys after his failure in Patni computers you might be aware his initial uh, trial with Patni computers you know well I'm talking about cattle class <laughs> economy class called as cattle class oh ladies and gentlemen so the anthropocentrism the humanity you know doesn't apply equality idea of equality among animal kingdom otherwise you know you got your own discrimination with animals you know we are talking about you know the derogatory remarks no such notion can be absorbed you know animals it's not like that they don't have their own you know discrimination among themselves but we have we say you know that we, we are mature we got you know the so called you know the uh, sixth sense seventh sense <laughs> but no sense nonsense <laughs> oh my god oh it is that way so advocates of you know that we talk about the biocentrism you know, they promote preservation of biodiversity, you know, the animal rights and environmental protection we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand? Preservation of biodiversity. Our role is to preserve this biodiversity. Because we are talking about, you know, that all around, you know, that that's why organic farming, you know, the pesticides, fertilizers, how they go against the very species, you might be aware. You know that uh, how you know that all these you know chemicals are responsible for washing away even the very uh, uh, the, you know that the Bakshi Rajan of course you know Robo 2.0 how the mobile towers you know the communication advanced communication all these private companies are floating the norms of the radiation even my friend you know working in BSNL I think that guy Satish of course you know he used to tell me you know that I used to, I used to criticize hey what your BSNL is now uh, now BSNL gone you know we we ensured peaceful demise that's totally different for the sake of these guys you know the business people. You know that uh, whether uh, uh, geo or even you know the party also to some extent struggling there you know the word of on everybody what happened right bsnl public sector gone you know that we ensured smooth peaceful demise of that public sector unit for the sake of corporate development cool i asked him you know why bsnl is not working but whereas you know all these guys you know or other uh, private service providers you know it's working properly he said you know somewhere the government has got its own rules and regulation but these private people now, they float away all those norms you know they never take care of guidelines these radiations are health hazardous, forget about other species, even for human beings. That's why in the human locations, all those towers should not be allowed. But, the, you know, the network coverage, you are worried. Somewhat they convince people, they erect, you know, that all those, you know, the towers ultimately, you see, that's why, the, you know, that all those, in Tamil we say, Sittu Kurvi. You, you got a lot of, you know, that the bird creatures, you know, gone away. Extinct, unable to withstand the radiations. Are you aware? Even there was, you know, endosulfan, it has got impact on human also. The very Kerala stopped that endosulfan. So, so much of chemicals we are talking about, you know, that ultimately not only humanity that goes against other species also. So, there comes our role to preserve the whole biodiversity. And also, you know, that the animal rights, you know, that we are talking about, someone to speak on behalf, people for, you know, that animals, they are speaking, animal rights. Of course, you know, the, for the sake of, you know, see, there comes a lot of case studies like that, you know, a speedy drive, you know, vehicle hitting, you know, the, the roadside, you know, that, uh, 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 you know that killing human beings you know the traveled in two wheelers as well as you know two two trees fell down got cut off the roadside our our legal mechanisms in such a way we give justice to the affected you know that the killed two persons you know travel by two wheeler by insurance or whatever maybe we never spoke about you know that the true trees two trees you know the got cut because of that accident so the the the, the judgment by you know that the various supreme court high courts you know the court mechanisms should be in such a way how those trees you know that fell down got cut they should be compensated you know that so the the two guys you know some judgments came recently i appreciate that also you know that one uh, uh, the benchmark judgment came from you know i think when uh, uh, high court of you know the chennai i believe right you know that the judgment given in such a way you know that the culprit was given the judgment that you have to you know that uh, uh, plant 1000 trees you have to maintain it as a matter of judgment and you know forget about the air think about you know in the name of development what about in the road expansion the very you know that Uti you would have heard you know the people in South India Uti hills 
you know that uh, the hill station you might be aware you know that when you approach you know that towards metupalayam the road in the name of expansion all trees got cut so the government itself is responsible in encroaching what about parallel they also tried for marudamalai road in in tamil nadu nearby coimbatore i am talking about of course others may not be knowing yes the same thing you know the government in the name of development who is responsible somewhat you know local people come and fight but they expanded you know that the, the road is not utilized for a transportation purpose it has become encroachment by the traders nearby the park they use for parking facility it is not facilitating even the, the road you know the, the the transport mechanism it's again encroached at least you should have allowed that trees to survive that would have been given fantastic greenery towards you know that uh, uh, enriching the beauty of you know part of the earth of course we are talking about so animal rights and environmental protection should be in such a way so you know what happened this notion life centric notion there comes you know advocation from the various think tanks you know that to promote you know biocentrism you know that uh, 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 you know that the, the notion the ideology to promote the preservation of biodiversity and also to speak on behalf of animal rights and also in favor of environmental protection we are talking about this consciousness of biocentrism and also there comes another slogan of course you know the the phraseology called left centrism you know that you left when i say it's belonging to communist of course you know they will go against capitalist establishment or industrial development whatever may be what is that left biocentrism biocentrism called left biocentrism what is that it combines the deep ecology with anti industrial anti capitalistic position definitely no doubt because of left so you know that uh, in what way we preserve our you know that uh, uh, biodiversity or you know that animal uh, environmental protection even speak for animal rights given the fact right you know that industrial establishments and, and capitalistic mechanism or ideology and its devastation and its and its impact on environment it is that way it is spoken ladies and gentlemen so you understand biocentrism i think it is right time let me take you to another value of course you know part of environmental ethics it's called conservation conserve so that it can be utilized in future you might be aware law of conservation of energy e equal to mc energy neither can be created nor can be destroyed but one form of energy is getting transformed into where you talk about law of conservation of energy where you speak the role of transducers the conservation in tamil it's called purunmai purunmai aliya vidhi i studied up to 12th standard tamil medium i recall the word purunmai aliya vidhi <laughs> oh thank god thank god i appreciate my teachers i i, I respect my teachers they are in me <laughs> the conservation of ethics of course we are talking about you know that so conservation when you say you know that you you preserve for tomorrow it is not consuming everything today itself and and leading to exhaustion or destruction annihilation or completion you preserve for future for future consumption for sustainability so the conservation we are talking about so that that rationalizes all of your consumption practices that's what i say you know whenever you enter if you don't use that particular room you have to ensure that all switches are turned off you have to ensure that when you go outside you know some for two purpose you, know, you ensure a simple switch in the outside you know that you turn off you know all lights will go off otherwise you don't keep that you know 5 rupees worth of you know food stuff in the refrigerator for that you know you turn on all entire you know that uh, uh, the electricity connection so that you pay bill you know to the tune of 5000 rupees i am talking ladies should be aware <laughs> you should know you know throw away when you are going out all those unnecessary food items you know that uh, turn off the uh, refrigerator also and people you use you know inverter uh, fertilizer i mean uh, stabilizer that's the problem that consumes the electricity mechanism so you know why because you have to understand conserve you know it's it's not you know that then you will be labeled kanja paya abdin solutu you know that the kanja you know that the, the spin thrift like that no 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 you know what to be done of course the conservation preservation for the for the sake of future so ethics of you know that resource use the scarce resources you should know how to use them and how to allocate them how to protect them this is all about conservation ethics where you talk about you know that we have to hand over this plan of the earth you know the same way we received from our forefather to the future generation they should live happily it's not like you know mask all you know that all various you know uh, the hollywood movies you watch with all those you know that the protection layers you know with which they have to live in this world <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because you started buying water, na. In future, already you know that in in Delhi, some Chennai, you know that 
uh, for one hour, you know, 300 rupees, 600 rupees for, you know, the breathing clean oxygen. Are you aware? Then people will be carrying tank in the behind, you know, the, they don't want to breathe, you know, that uh, the public air, which is contaminated. Huh? Like you go with your own car, AC, na, the same way, walking guys, you know, they'll be wearing, you know, the oxygen tank at the, at the back. So it be. We are irresponsible, that's what the way. So the ethics of, you know, that resource use, allocation and protection we are talking about. So primary focus, you know, that upon maintaining the health of the natural, I'm talking about. So it is that way, you know, that the focus should be. So you ensure the health, you know, which is sustainable. And also, you know, that uh, it's, it's fisheries, you know, that it's habitats, you know, that the location they live and also the various, uh, the diversified, you know, species, flora, fauna, biological diversity you are talking about. So the focus on maintaining the health, nurturing the health, sustainability of the planet, the earth, we are talking about it is that way, especially the natural world. And also the focus also should be on the materials conservation. That's what I'm talking about, the consumption in such a way. Beyond that level, if you consume, you know, that it should be sustainable consumption so that you allow, you know, time for, you know, restoration back. So, people never give space, keep on extracting. What will happen? What they find morning when you extract more water, ultimately sea water will seep. You get salty water. Over. <laughs> you know that all agricultural lands, you know, they are giving lease, you know, that for to supply, you know, that uh, the city based, you know, that restaurants, you know, that one day fine morning, these agricultural lands, you know, they're running short of water even to do agriculture. These guys are keep on extracting, extracting to supply neighborhood cities. Gone. I, you know that it's the right time, you know, that some initiation then desalinization of waters should be done effectively because you got 70% of water in the neighborhood. Now, why you can't do that? You have, you have to do more. Otherwise, all stashed away money, black money, you bring back, utilize that money for this, you know, interlinking of river waters, river as well as, you know, desalinization of water. You can be part of solution. Do you have guts? Do you have political will? I'm asking our leaders. Otherwise, once you become, you know, part of administration, have guts. Same courage to strictly implement. Otherwise, throw that job. If you are unable to discharge your duties, don't say, you know, that the system. Eh? Otherwise, throw that. You know, if you are an ethical person, you will do that. You know, that otherwise, you know how to. Sam, bed, dan, dand. You know, you practice that mechanism to be part of the solution. You know how to. Karaypar, karaytal, kallum, karayam. You know how to do. You can make difference there. So, this is what, so the material conservation, where you can make difference, we are talking about, including non-renewable resources, you know, once you have consumed, you can't get back. It is not like, you know, that wind, it's not like, you know, that the solar energy we are talking about, you know, that, so the metals, minerals, once you exhausted, gone. That's what the fossil fuels, we add more carbon. Now, we are talking about carbon sequestration measures and also, and also the, the energy conservation priority, important to protect the natural world, we are talking about. So, focus should be on conservation measures, especially on non-renewable resources. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to, it is that way. So, we have to think about alternative energy resources like, you know, we explore, you know, the solar, the windmill. You know, you would have seen in Tamil, you know, the Tamil Nadu, of course, you know, the south, the Kayatar, Muppandala, I am talking about. You relate with your own locality in different states. The windmill. Uh, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan has invested more, I believe. And even this Surya actor has, you know, I, I, I received these reports. You please check with that facts, I don't know. You need, you know, minimum 1 crore to invest. Few years back, I heard that, that one windmill. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, you know that the conservations, conservationists, of course, you know that uh, uh, those who advocate or work towards, you know, conservation goals, you know, that there come separate profession, conservationist. You know, that they suggest, you know, they guide you in effectively what, you know, that how come you can use your energy. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, it is the right time. Let me take you to another ethics called climatic ethics. We are talking about, of course, excuse me. Climatic ethics, when we say, of course, you know, the area of research that focuses on ethical dimensions, especially of, you know, that the climatic change we are talking about, you know, that the, the focus on ethical dimensions of climatic change. Climatic change should not be, you know, that you are worried about, you know, change in climate, flood, drought, affecting, you know, agriculture, affecting, you know, that uh, the drinking water, whatever may be, it's human centric. What about, you know, who will speak on behalf of the other species washed away, plants, other animals, 
the visible invisible forms even biotic abiotic you know we are talking about it is that way so it should not be restricted you know that to speak on behalf of the humanity otherwise the very pollution what do you do it's not only the human beings you know that getting affected because of that other the, the creations of the god also other creatures too other species too how come you know that and, and who will you know how come you should be brought to the court for that in the world of animal court the world of other species court nobody is doing that <laughs> You, you take it for granted. So, human induced climatic change, we are talking about. Human induced climatic change, you know, that the ethical issues have, have not been adequately addressed in the climatic change policy debate, debates we are talking about. So, you know, that it is not properly addressed, we are talking about. And uh, even the scientific and, you know, the economic literature on climatic change, we are talking about, you know, it is human induced. You know, the, the role of anthropogenic factors, it's man-made disaster, even the Chennai flood, man-made disaster we are talking about. Even the Delhi gas chamber, man-made disaster we are talking about. The global warming, it's man-made, anthropogenic factor, the role of human beings in inducing this global warming, we are talking about. Of course, we take, you know, a lot of efforts on the part of United Nations Environment Program, United Nations Framework Convention on Climatic Change, Conference of Party Meetings, Paris Climatic Agreement. And in a protection of, you know, that wetlands, Ramsar Wetland Convention. Come on, go. If you go to Chennai, nearby Valacheri, there will be Pallikarnai. The Pallikarnai marshy lands. You just compare the satellite pictures of, you know, that something taken 10 years back, 5 years back, 2 years back, what is now. You will see how that, the, the, the wasteland, the, the, the water, wetlands, you know, that got reduced by encroachment came to that level. You see the, the city growth. It is encroachment, land mafia, nexus between criminals and politicians our unethicality to the core that goes against nature. We are talking about, so it is, it's man-made disaster we are talking about. They ensure, you know, groundwater table in such a way. We are talking about, so human-induced climatic change, the man-made disaster we are addressing, you know, the, where ethical issues have not been adequately addressed in the climatic policy debate the scientific or, you know, the, uh, uh, the economic literature on climatic change. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, ethical issues are being overlooked, obscured. As I said, na, in, in an accident, you are worried about, you know, that uh, uh, the injured human beings are compensated. Not the dog died in the accident, compensated. Don't ask me, you know, that. where I will find parents of dogs, sir. <laughs> you know, that consciousness I am talking about. At least that guy responsible for that accident should be given order. You, know, you should, you know, that uh, take, you know, that buy one dog. You should grow, and there should be periodical report to the court every, you know, that month. You have to come and sign the, you know, that ledger that that dog is properly maintained by you. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you sponsor one, you know, the people for animals. They will have a lot of animals. Na? You sponsor one animals, you know, that welfare and growth. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Can't you give judgment like this? <laughs> oh my God. So, the climatic negotiations and policies and discussions we are talking about, the most important, the most responsible for climatic change are the more, not, you know, that you, you, you have to understand, the most responsible for climate change, that the people responsible for altering the climate, you know, that goes against, you know, that environmental sustainability, they are not vulnerable. They are living in sophisticated world because they got resources. They are rich, they got technology. And they are, you know, using this SpaceX, you know, the Falcon vehicle, using the support of Elon Musk, they will also go to another planet and settle there because they got resources. And you will be in the resuming. The guys, industrial, you know, giants, MNCs, corporate leaders, they amazed well at the cost of, you know, the survival of the planet. They, you know, that they are not going to get affected. Ultimately, other people, the poor people, downtrodden, children, women, forest people, that the people belonging to vulnerable sections of developing countries, underdeveloped world, they are going to get affected. Not these guys. They will use this mechanism to test a settle somewhere. They will abscond one day, fine morning. They will escape. You know, we should not leave them. Okay. So, you know, that be, be upright person, you know, that bring them to the book. Otherwise, make them, you know, polluter must pay. Come on. Those most responsible for climatic change are not most vulnerable to its effect. They know how to protect themselves. 
that is what we say all developed countries you know you are not getting affected because you got technology you got cycling you know recycling process but you are dictating expecting developing and underdeveloped world to be you know be very conscious you have to help them for that you have to allow some time for them that's why in the kyoto protocol we have got a mechanism collective but differentiated responsibility that people you know that the paris climate agreement also you know that the came that the funding mechanism where developing countries are not coming forward though we are ta insisting on 100 billion dollars the clean development fund so that that will equip you know the developing and underdeveloped world to, to, to contribute towards you know that uh, uh, the mitigation or reduction of the greenhouse gases in their own respective industrial world yes ladies and gentlemen it is that way we are talking about you know that let me take you to another value system of course which talks about ecocentrism you know that let me say it is not you know that uh, uh, the human centered you know that as, as we have already seen life centered bio centered the same way it is ecocentrism nature centered not mere human centered life where, where you respect you know that ecosystem biodiversity you know that uh, the land water air human being uh, the flora fauna visible invisible forms of life even abiotic thing what the whole ecosystem is all about it's not taking for granted you have to respect the inherent value of each and everything so it, this is what nature after so you it, it should be you know that your life you know if you have this particular consciousness that that's what even the spiritual world the people you know, there is a suggestion you know, that when you do yoga and when you do meditation they they, ex they expect you to exercise one particular practice you know you assume that you know that as if you do yoga now you close your eyes you know you feel something you breathe you assume now you 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 go beyond your body consciousness you feel you are part of this you know that uh, home part of this uh, uh, the village part of this planet part of this space they they train you so that you feel you are part of this you know that unit meaning part of this nature there is world beyond you that's fantastic practice i think. you feel responsible when you practice that you will more you will understand the world is not only for me not only me attitude the world is for it there are so many stakeholders you have to respect their privacy jurisdiction this is natural centered concept maybe universe center you are part of it you are part in the whole you are not the whole huh? Hey, you, people, you say, no, I'm a big person in the world, you know. <laughs> You're part of the whole. <laughs> you have to understand. Eh? Oh, my God. So, system of values, you know, that should be in such a way, natural centered, not mere human centered. You have to understand, you know, that vallavanik vallavan, vayahatil undu. You know where, you know that there are, there, you know, that nature is great. God is great. The universe is great. You have to understand. We are iota. They are part of it, that's all. You know, that it is that way you have to understand. That makes you humble. Otherwise, that makes you feel, you know, that you've, you've got obligation towards others. Others people. You've got responsibility towards others. You're part of the whole. It's not you are alone. It's that way we are talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So, ontological belief, we are talking about, you know, when we say it's a part of philosophy. You might be aware. So, you know, that, that you know, that says, you know, that the belief, what is that belief? The, the denies, you know, that, that any existential division between human and non-human nature, if at all you have, you know, it's not if at all you have, but, you know, do you think it is sufficient to claim that humans are sole bearer of greater intrinsic value than human nature? Of course, there is a difference between human world and animal world. You say culture, you know, man is a social animal, Aristotle, Aristotle said. Otherwise, culture is the point of difference between we human society on the one hand, animal society on the other. Of course, good. It doesn't mean that, you know, that we are superior to them. Hello, this environmental ethics, you know, gives you that kind of consciousness that they should be treated equally. All species are equal. This notion we are talking about is, is this, you know, that demarcation is sufficient to claim that the humans are sole bearers of, you know, greater intrinsic value. You became dictator of those values. You became sup su supremacy. You attained supremacy position as if, you know, they've got, you know, subordinate position to you. No, not at all. But that way. So, equality of, you know, that intrinsic values among human and non-human nature as well. There should be equality between nature and, not, you know, that, uh, the human and non-human environment. This is what the point. So, bios, this is otherwise called biospherical egalitarianism. So, hitherto you spoke, you know, that Mahatma Gandhi dreamed of egalitarian society. Karl Marx dreamed of egalitarian society. 
but paths are different mahatma gandhi chose ahimsa satyagraha policy but karl marx chose you know that uh, a radical revolution because of exploitation where violence is not ruled out so ahimsa himsa <laughs> ahimsa himsa but destination is same egalitarian society of course karl marx said classless communist society mahatma gandhi said egalitarian society what is egalitarian society a society where everything is for everyone all resources are equally accessible to all the members of societies it's human centric notion egalitarian society but even today it is a dream you got you know widening inequality that's what i said a minister with two floors in the burj khalifa and there are guys starving in the roadside given covid situation there are guys thrown out of employment yeah? you got the idea no? widening inequality we are talking about so 10% of the people controlling you know that 90% of the resources in the world widening inequality we are talking about human society itself you couldn't practice that egalitarianism but this environmental ethics spirit talking about biospherical egalitarianism it is between human and non human there should you know all resources are equally accessible to all species in the society not only humanity flora fauna living non living visible invisible forms of life all our stakeholders not only humanity you understand now this is called biospherical egalitarianism let us german the humanity itself we are yet to achieve think about there is no pure communist society there is no pure egalitarian society where everything is no society is free from this you know inequality imbalance that's why welfare nation notion we are talking about so that should be implemented for you know that all species this is what we are talking about ladies and gentlemen it is that way hope you understood the concept now the next notion of course here we are talking about environmental racism you know the race what is race it's it's one of the forms of social stratification the humanity based on uh, the biological features you categorize categorize people you know that uh, 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 mongoloids negroids caucasoids based on the physical features the nature of hair you know that uh, the, the complexion the body stature thick lips and and cephalic index and nose size of the nose and eye color huh? you might be aware so human beings are you know segregated on the basis of pure biological categories of course the racism when you say it is a negative notion i can't breathe george floyd what happened the racism notion now it changed i told you before us election trumpism will be trumped of course joe biden administration now you might be aware Huh? what happened right you know that that racism uh, apartheid you know segregation south africa what happened you might be aware you know that you are prejudiced you know that against the colored people racism but this is among humanity you are talking about so the you know the white people you know that uh, ill treating you know that not giving proper space you know that otherwise treating them in a subordinate position because of their you know the, the, the physical features the color that is racism among humanity but environmental racism you feel as if humanity is superior all other species are inferior this is also racism but it is part of environmental racism that you human supremacy you feel humans are superior all other species are inferior this notion is called environmental racism otherwise all your wastages medical waste electronic waste construction waste you go and dump somewhere where other species are you know that destroyed because of that the impact you are not bothered about it. that means you know that uh, you use them as if you were dumping here as developing countries you know that you developed countries using developing and underdeveloped world as if dumping yard for the, all their own finished goods the same way humanity using you know that all this you know that uh, uh, the, the 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 places meant for you know that species that you dump all your e waste m waste construction waste where they are completely washed away or your man made disaster the anthropogenic factor and human induced global warming the 1 degree celsius rise of the temperature how it is you know completely 10% of species are washed away because of that this is environmental racism we are racist of course the environmental standards we are talking this way ladies and gentlemen so the form of environmental injustice we are talking about it is it is you know that so you know environmental injustice happened you know what happened all those things you know that either to affected only colored people now you know that it is going against other species also you, you don't take care when it is affecting negroid when it is affecting you know downtrodden people you ought to be wise of those wisely 
of course we are talking about so this particular term environmental racism coined in 1987 you know that you come to know but the, the the study document which speaks the study document of you know united states of america's you know census data and government data speaking in such a way especially on the location of the toxic waste sites you know all those toxic materials are where they are dumped even when you talk about you know that nuclear waste how these nuclear waste materials are, are sent to deep ocean hello when when the, the marine world getting exposed to that the radiations when they come and mingle with you know that ultimately all those you know largest fishing grounds when you eat that fish won't that radiation come to the human being again we question that the end waste nuclear waste we are questioning nuclear waste vis-a-vis -vis humanity the nuclear waste affecting marine resources who will speak on behalf of you know that the destruction of marine resources because of that Piranha like movie should come. Eh? Piranha is likely to happen then. Hello? Are you watched? Have you watched Piranha movie? Eh? Some, <laughs> some ferocious fish. Eh? That's what they will come and eat you. <laughs> so you should be threatened like that. Eh? All, all erring people. Eh? There will be a lot of Piranha movies in the world. You understand? <laughs> oh my God. You should be threatened like that. Eh? Fear factor. Okay, U.S. Census data and government data on the location of toxic waste sites, you know, that uh, even they talk about that study document reveals that way. The clear patterns which show that community with greater minority percentages of population are more likely to be sites of commercial hazardous waste facilities. Don't apply in India because when you apply in minority in India, linguistic minority, religious minority, but their minorities happen to be Negroids. Hello, people. Of course, here you can apply all Dalits, downtrodden people, those who are all oppressed, suppressed. In that context, you use. It's not in religious sense, okay, or, or linguistic sense. Vulnerable sections you call here. So clear patterns which show the community with greater minority person. Those voiceless people, where you go and dump because they won't question you. They don't have that awareness, consciousness. Otherwise, you know, you just say the Perungudi region. If you ca happen to visit Chennai, the Chennai nearby Valacheri, Perungudi region will be. Even, you know, that the very Endiran movie, the Robo 1, first part, how that dismantled robot portions are uh, thrown away in the dumping yard, how it is collected back. You know, that, that place is nothing but the Chennai's Perungudi region. All corporate, you know, the, the garbage is dumped there. There will be continuous fire, the, the, the foul smell. Uh, you know that there are a lot of you know that parsh apartment even i've got flat there nearby so i'm i'm talking about you know what to do <laughs> some you know few kilometers away from my place i'm i'm talking about people a section of population living on that garbage they gather some you know that uh, the used you know all those pepsi coca cola bottles and they collect and they they put in you know that some kailan kada you call na that the waste products mark they they throw away that goes for recycling they, their livelihood based on that. Are you aware? There are a lot of movies based on that, uh, uh, the culture. These waste, toxic materials are dumped over, you know, that the slums, urban slums. They are voiceless people. Be, you know, voice for those voiceless. They are talking about. Of course, you know that, <laughs> see, they are somewhat, you know, optimistic people, you know, that they use that, you know, resources for their own survival, but that goes against their health also. That's different. They're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, now we have to talk about environmental justice. The environmental justice, you know, when you say as a concept in the, in the USA, of course, you know, it came into uh, practice, you know, that in 1980s we are talking about. So, environmental justice, justice, you know, that is centered around the environmental concerns. We are talking about, you know, that it was a social movement in the United States of America whose focus is on the fair distribution of the environmental benefits and burdens. There should be fairness on the part of distribution of, you know, the benefits as well as burdens. It's not talking about mere your environmental rights and you should know, you know, that uh, uh, how to distribute that burdens also. You know, it is talking about the responsibilities you have. It's not es shying away or escaping from that particular responsibility. Uh, when I'm speaking, the two pigeons are sitting next to me. Uh, environmental ethics, you know, bringing them. They see very bold. Maybe the AC chilling. I think they are enjoying there. Uh, See, ecosystem. They are sitting next to me. <laughs> oh my God! It is an interdisciplinary body of social science literature. Interdisciplinary body of social science literature that includes 
but not limited to it. Got the idea now? That includes not limited to the theories of, you know, that environment, the theories of justice, the environmental law, governance, environmental policy, the planning, development, social body, political ecology. You have to understand how the environmental concerns, there should be independent, you know, that we are talking about, you know, that it's not independent, interdisciplinary body of social science literature. Taking into account all the, the environmental concerns all drowned in all spheres of life. Of course, you talk about it is generally that way we are talking about this consciousness theater. Let me take you to the next level. We are talking about, of course, the Indian environment lab. So, okay, sir, you are talking about US. What about India? Of course, you would have heard about you know Bhopal gas tragedy, the methyl isocyanate, you know, Union Carbide Administration. People not properly compensated. Are you aware? Still, people are fighting there. The quarter which one guy escaped. Union Carbide Administration. That is why uh, when there came, you know, one, two, three agreement, the, the, the Indo-US Civilian Nuclear Cooperation Agreement, when there came a class called end user monitoring. Otherwise, you know, the nuclear liability issues, there came controversy. Because as developing country, we already got affected because these guys not compensating. So what is the point? When you bring under, you know, that Indo-US Civilian Nuclear Cooperation Agreement, the, when the reactors are established here, any nuclear accident, any untoward incident happens in India, you know that the people should be compensated, especially by the, the, the owners, the reactors owners. But what they say, na, no, no, I sold the reactors to you, na, you have to take care. You know, I, I am free from this responsibility. But we already got affected because of that Union Carbide Administration. You know, that became controversy. Are you aware? The nuclear library bill later passed. But that, that became irritant during that era. Are you aware of this? This is apart from end user monitoring. So, Indo-US Civilian Nuclear Cooperation Bill, because why, why we became victim already, the victims of, you know, that the disaster, the gas tragedy, Union Carbide Administration, Bhopal gas tragedy, that, you know, there we got the consciousness about industrial risk and safety. We woke, you know, the, we woke up to the issue, uh, you know, the rose to the occasion, of course, you know, that, that we spoke. In, in nuclear liability uh, class, you know, the Indo-US Civilian Nuclear Cooperation Agreement, that consciousness, you know, that hitherto Indian social justice, if you happen to see or watch all those movies, part of, you know, 1970s, 80s, they'll be talking about economic exploitation, something, the issue centered around, you know, that widening inequality, rich zamindar, you know, oppressing or exploiting the, the poor people in that particular locality, no concern about environment. So, here to, hitherto in India, justice, when you say, it is human-centered justice without environmental consciousness. Only after this tragedy, we, we started having that consciousness. We are talking about, so differential access to natural assets and ecosystem services, you know, that came up after that we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, do you understand this consciousness only after this? You have to understand, you know, that so it is that it's, you know, human society is evolving. Society is moving from simple to complex. The rules are becoming complex. The life itself becoming complex to need, to meet the needs and to, and to handle uh, the, the deviance, you know, you need legal mechanisms in such a way. And also evolved consciousness on the part of human beings also. For that you need, you don't need law, you don't need monitoring mechanism, sensitivity, ethicality, the principles, value system on the part of human. You are not alone. You don't need law to tell you everything. That is what integrity. You don't need monitoring mechanism. That's what I say, na. when you go to your restroom, bathroom, how do you use, after using the bathroom, you know, if you don't, you know, that uh, flesh water, if you don't, you know, pour water and clean up, because it's going to be utilized by someone else later, that says how integrity, you, uh, how, you know, that integrated person you are. Nobody is monitoring, you know, you, you, we don't keep, you know, that CCTV there inside the restroom, you know well. How do you do? That's all, very simple. Integrity is all about, even if nobody is watching you, nobody is watching you, that you never compromise in strictly adhering to what is right. That is integrity. So, you know that you think about the environmental concerns, the sensitivity is expected on the part of you to respect the nature. To, you know that there is there are other creations, the creatures, not only you alone. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you to another value. Of course, it talks about eco-justice. Sir, so many values. Yeah, this is how you have to write. You know that I said already, you know, what is that? See, 10 values, of course. So, let me recall the formula A squared B E squared e to the power 4, yes. e to the power 4, yes. Now, you know that we are ninth justice we are dealing, fortunately. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about, is it ninth? Yes, no doubt, ninth justice. Eco-justice, I am talking about. So, the commitments for ecological sustainability and human justice, you know, the, your commitment towards both, not only human justice. 
that is eco justice because ecosystem when you say you got flora fauna uh, uh, you know that uh, biotic abiotic as well as visible invisible forms of life you know you take into account everything so uh, ecological sustainability and human justice as well so environmental issues and 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 justice issues you know that are not competing agenda it's not right you know one at the cost of another it is not zero sum concept of theory if if human beings are 100% the environment is zero who said so it's not wrong it, it is wrong it is win win situation you have to work in such a way. it is symbiotic rather you live and let live you live and let others live you live let others be you understand vaale vaale vidu in tamil <laughs> eh, the same meaning oh, don't worry <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are talking about this of course environmental issues and justice issues are not you know as competing agendas you know one at the cost of another it is symbiotic it is win win it is variable sum concept of theory probably you can take in terms of talcott parsons not max weber uh, zero sum concept of theory one at the cost of another no but as intertwined you know that uh, intertwined elements you know that mixed together the collective living symbiotically win win situation one respecting another complementary to each other we are talking about so the humans are called related to god's creation got the idea na you are one creation there are other creations too. when you believe there is a creator when you believe you are the create you know that a creation there is a creator and you you should also parallelly believe there are other creations too <laughs> you understand you know it is that way ladies and gentlemen eh? you are the creator you are not the only creator first of all you know that you have to understand you are the creation you know that you are creator something else population policy forget eh? hello my god so you are creation there are other creations in the world when you talk about creator of course it is not possible to care for the earth without also caring for humanity you know that you have to take care of the humanity through humanity you make them sensible to 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 the impact of you know impact on earth of course it is not possible to take care of earth in that sense it's not giving primacy to humanity of course to so make them understand you know that the shared living of course it is not possible to take care of the very earth without also caring humanity you, you, that is what it is not competing agenda it's not one at the cost of another so it's symbiotic win win we are talking about so seeking human justice must involve also the care for environment in environment we are talking about paryojana huh? we talk about no talk about you know the seeking human justice must also in it, it it's also parallelly in copy that's what i say when accident happens you know that affected trees affected animals also should be compensated it's not only you know that the, the human beings compensated the justice mechanism hope all justice people you know part of judiciary listening ladies and gentlemen you know that otherwise tell you are i know advocate at uh, the dads grandpas mums in your home the, you know that uh, the future leaders you know that you understand this notions even your uncles of course the stewardship another value system what i'm talking about it is that way he spoke you you've got your own responsibility your obligation your duty towards other species on the planet are in this and i put together in the whole universe what we are talking about you know the human obligation to care for other creation you are not the only creation there are other creations too that is what stewardship otherwise called so the the earth is the lord's might be aware it, it belongs to lord maybe it looks spiritual whatever maybe if you don't have faith you know that you have to understand the earth belongs to nature come on you may be atheist or agnostic i don't know let me respect your opinion i'm not forcing i'm not promoting any view here be objective It's up to you so yet it's not it may not be lords it may be natures something you know that are beyond you so of course you know humanity you are you are trustee you are caretaker you are not the owner of the earth to destroy so that you don't leave space for you know that uh, 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 the future generation you are just caretaker you are trustee you have to hand over to the future generation you have to ensure that it is not getting destroyed in your lifetime so the humanity as caretakers the trustee not as owners of the earth you have to, you, you should understand your limitation or your jurisdiction if you have sensitivity you will understand your role is to care protect preserve and promote environmental growth 
and mitigate, mitigate or reduce all room pollution in such a way. We talk about that humans are seen as separate from the rest of the creation. You know, they are strongly colored by the ideas of dominion, control, management. You know, you are the, you, you are with, you have sixth sense, no? You have sixth sense, no? Seventh sense, no? What do you do with what you have? <laughs> we speak this way, no? Don't you have control, dominion, management over those species? Couldn't control, you know, that your mom is asking you. You couldn't control your wife? Your mom is asking, another woman asking you, couldn't control your women? Forgetting the role, she is also a woman. She is, you know, she is forgetting important thing. When she was, you know, daughter-in-law, how she behaved with her own mother-in-law? It is not controlling anybody, giving space for everybody. This is life. Who gave you authority? Now we are talking about as a human, you don't have authority over other species. These are all the, the, the world of immaturity. One controlling another, one dominating another. I am the big person, I am a big species, I am the human species. Extraordinary sensitivity, maturity that demands in you. So the, this attitude of having, you know, that the dominion, trying to control, Swaraj, the self-rule, the humanity cannot be controlled by anybody. What is this? <laughs> the ideas of ideas of dominion and control management we are talking about. You know, that that notions, of course, this is all, you know, that uh, uh, the colored notion, biased notion, prejudice, that you lack maturity. That's what the meaning, if at all you are practicing it. Let us be mature. Let us have sensitivity. Uh, to the, you know, let's rise to the occasion. Let's understand that you know that, that we have to give space to you know that other other species. And when you think that way, naturally you won't find problem in, in sharing your space with women, with with transgender, with other minorities in the world, with other people got oppressed, suppressed, marginalized. You won't have problem. The thing is, you know that your thought should be your, your vision should be very broad. Be kind to every kind, not only mankind. And love others, love your neighbor or love others as you love yourself. Love your neighbor, maybe other creations, not only humanity. Extraordinary sensitivity I am talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need subject to teach you the maturity. There are uneducated people, you know, the people, the simple, you know, the, the clarity of thought, consciousness, living with this. You need subject to teach you. No. Develop sensitivity, maturity, that's all. Otherwise, you know, that get the help of, you know, that learned people, you know, go through nothing wrong in that. You have the tendency, that's all. The moment you think you want, you, have, you should have this consciousness, everything falls in place. When, when the, 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 the attitude is great, the purpose is great, the whole universe will conspire in such a way so as to help you. Everything will fall in place. If not one guy, another guy. If not one book, another book. If not one platform, another platform. That is what life. Such a maturity, the broad-mindedness we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, so the humans are seen as separate part of the creations we are talking about. Separate part of the creations. Stewardship is the way of expressing. What is the point? You know, no, 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 I've got my responsibility towards others. Like Hutch Dog na, comes always with you. Hutch Dog. Hutch Dog, you would have seen advertisement. Huh? What's your Hutch Dog? It's not dog. What, uh, you know, that, uh, do, you, do, you, do you protect anybody? Preserve anybody? Do you promote interest of anybody? Any species, any plant, any flora, fauna, any living, non-living thing, I am asking you. So, the stewardship is a way of expressing. So, how humans might interact gently and responsibly with the rest of the, you know, the, the creations and it's a rejection of, you know, the dominion. So, you know, that, that you would have seen some lot of videos in the social network, you know, what happens, right? When there is, you know, that uh, road in the midst of the forest. You know, that probably you watched, right, you know, that how a, a python, you know, they're trying to eat one, uh, you know, maybe deer, the captured deer, how it has been, you know, that uh, uh, like, you know, roped in ultimately, you know, trying to eat away. 
so that the, the people you know the tourist travelers otherwise you know the the passer by of course you know that in the vehicle they they watch they taken video one guy became proactive going out of the vehicle and and ultimately attacking python so that it releases you know that the captured deer and thinking that he helped you know that uh, uh, deer of course extraordinary sense you you want you know that you don't tolerate you know that uh, the killing uh, uh, but that's extraordinary sensitivity we appreciate there comes another question who gave you authority to interfere in the world of animal dumb animal kingdom you think you are protecting you know there comes another question controversy question you are thinking you are protecting deer but how come you can you know that completely take away the food of you know python there comes another question first of all you don't have right to interfere in the world of animal kingdom it is interference it is encroachment while if you are eating you know while eating if anybody completely taken away you 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 know that uh, the, the plate uh, uh, the food on the plate and not giving uh, otherwise you know that depriving you from you know the taking the food when you are angry how how you will tolerate questions like that questions like that. you are thinking you know that you are you are your dominant species my duty is to protect that deer who asked you who gave you authority to interfere in the world of you know that animal kingdom there comes question it is encroachment by you so the, this is the way this consciousness is all about environmental this you know that that, that demands maturity sensitivity we are talking about we are thinking we are right no we, we may not be right we are not always right it is that way it is gentlemen i think it is right time you know that uh, you know you got the ideas about stewardship of course you know that let me take you to the world of you know that how that can be linked with very purpose you are civil service aspirant this consciousness part of your ethics environmental ethics how they are asked as questions the previous year questions especially 2018 question i said in the beginning the construction of a dam you know that how it, that goes against forest and and local ethnic communities that's the question because this is environmental ethics got the idea na so the, the the people the tribal people are considered according to the you know that the forest dwellers act you know that you might be aware uh, 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 the 2006 they are treated as part and parcel of forest all forest minus forest minor produce for which they got accessibility nobody can question it is that way you know that and not only that and and going against any developmental activities that reduces the green cover the forest cover that goes against forest policy of maintaining 18% of forest cover in the total area you might be aware we are talking about so suppose the government of india is thinking of constructing a dam in the mountain valley bound by the forest and inhabited by the local ethnic communities maybe tribal people what rational policy should it resort to in dealing with unforeseen contingent that's what we spoke i gave you brief information let me give you you know that answer how we should be of course ladies and gentlemen constructing a dam in mountain valley entails you know that the many challenges no doubt as i said you know that it, it is a challenge to local community and also reducing the the forest the green cover of course goes against foreign forest policy and various species flora or fauna getting wiped out and also increasing the height of the dam during you know that the, the, the you know that uh, uh, that's inundating the neighborhood areas otherwise that is exerting pressure on the land so that may violate the seismic uh, you know that uh, zone policy sometimes you know otherwise it, it may burst somewhere you know that causing earthquake that stress we are talking about always it is vulnerable during you know that the heavy flood uh, 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 whatever maybe you know heavy rain you know that it, it, you know what's happening chambarambakum lake you know that why it's keep on you know open you might be aware in in tamil nadu you know otherwise that causes uh, the inundation of neighborhood areas you might be aware, aware all these things we are talking about ladies and gentlemen so all these challenges construction of dam entails and many challenges and also the people got affected how they are rehabilitated resettled how the proper compensation done all this thing we are talking about so your comprehensive rehabilitation policy would the rehabilitation resettlement of this affected ethnic communities tribal people would ensure the unforeseen contingencies which bug the many development projects are avoided you know that you should have policy rehabilitation and resettlement policy so how pe people are getting compensated you know because of that construction of dam and also there should be transparent rehabilitation and resettlement it's not you know that like you know the payoffs you know that uh, you know that if you take fish out of water and saying that you know fish tomorrow morning i will take you to lee meridian i'll give you you know that a good breakfast after that you know i'll take you to park sheraton i'll give you, you know that a good buffet lunch who are you 
You take fish out of the water, by the time you keep in your hand, by the time it's died, no more. Who gave you authority to give, you know, food? Who, who gave you authority to decide what should be the best habitation for the fish? These questions we are talking about. So, transparent rehabilitation, resettlement, we are talking about, you know, that it is not clandestine or payoffs like, you know, that. So, the government must implement resettlement packages making the ethnic communities or tribal, you know, that the people materially, you know, that better off uh, uh, to counter the narrative that development and modernization is disaster, you know, that disastrous for tribal who cannot cope with the change. You know, that that's what I am saying. You know, that the moment the tribal people are taken out of their own habitat, the sphere of life, they can't survive in the mainstream because you've got various tribal policies. You know, the G.S. Gurye, Verrier, Elvin, tribal, Panchil policy for tribal people, Jawaharlal Nehru has given tribal parks in India, assimilation policy, integration policy, isolation policy. We are talking about that various policy, policies when it comes to tribal people. You know that live in their own sphere as they are. For the sake of development, how come you can go against their habitation life? Who gave you authority? There comes a lot of questions. Otherwise, you know that the rehabilitation, resettlement policy within the forest area, maybe another forest, it is not bringing them, you know, giving them home in, uh, you know, the housing board. You know that they don't know how to survive. Probably the mainland people, you know, that uh, exploit them. Because they practice, you know, that barter system without the role of centralized currency mechanism. You know, I'll give you honey, you give me that fruit. Probably that mechanism, butter system. But when they come here, you know, that all their, you know, the important forest produce, you know, that will be taken away by mainlanders for meager money. Sometimes they will be, you know, they don't know how to survive. That's the problem. It becomes disastrous. You, you, you end the life of, life of that local community the moment, you know, you shift them. If, you, if you're not having this consciousness. So they should be taken to another forest of the same climate. And, uh, you know, that so that, you know, they survive there and, uh, uh, and also, you know, that you, if possible, you know, that you, you facilitate them there itself. You ensure that the same climate, sometimes change in climate also, they can't survive. And you have to understand the mode of, you know, that uh, uh, survival, how based on, you know, that some plants or, uh, you know, that animals and the same animals available in that region, they should be brought there. They hunt, they eat. You have to ensure that, you know, if at all depending on fish. You know, that you have to ensure that there is, you know, nearby some lake or river. It is that way. So, we are talking about, so land distribution and compensation for the loss of houses, forest produce and grassing land and other such resettlement measures should be implemented thoroughly without prejudice. You know, maybe they have got some, you know, that uh, the cattle and, you know, that the, the, that should be green pasture. It is not giving, you know, that the very, you know, desert region for settlement. That is gone then. And uh, the loss of houses, if at all, you know, that there you, can, you have to, you know, that in their own locality, how it can be built, you, you give, you support them, you know, it is not currency, support them through material, maybe the currency what you give may not be sufficient, because they are exploited by the mainlander people, and also the land distribution in such a way. So, all these things we are talking about, you know, there should be transparent rehabilitation and resettlement mechanism, and not only that, maintain transparency and ensure economic welfare also, it is not only that, it is not mere dislocation, will they survive, you have to ensure, if not surviving, what way they can, you know, that benefit out of the government, you know, that in terms of economy, that, the, you know, that the, the, the people taken out must be provided complete information regarding the dam, you know, that and also the, the submergence, when it will get submerged, when they will get submerged, when the flooding will be, how come they can protect themselves and if at all, you know, that the, the displacement due to that, uh, you know, submergence, the, the Sardars are over dam, the 40,000 families got affected, even government paid hefty, you know, compensation, the issues, controversies, we are talking about. The two-edged sword, that is what, you know, all technology, all development, when you do one thing, there will be consequence another, you know, you have to balance in such a way, you, you should forecast everything, envisage everything, you know, while, flame, while, while framing the policies, while, while implementing the project, while executing the project or contemplating the project I am talking about. So, the project authorities, you know, that and state government must rehabilitate, you know, that, that, that you know, that, uh, uh, that the people got evacuated with sustainable, you know, that non-land based, you know, that livelihoods. They should be kept in another forest so that they survive. You know, that's fantastic we are talking about. So, there comes the role of, you know, project authorities and, and governments, you know, that local bodies, including local bodies, rural urban local bodies involved there, I am talking about, mostly. 
so you know that in, for the sustainable living of those people like sustainable livelihood of those the people got evacuated from there so the various problems associated with displacement are compounded several times over you know that uh, uh, for the you know that the people got evacuated you know that who are also otherwise you know especially vulnerable by variously by class that's what i said you know the class caste even that you know the gs gurie the, the tribal people are called backward hindu you know there is you know that sociologist in india the founding father of indian sociology govind sadashiv you know that uh, gurie we are talking about of course we appreciate we respect his he is the founder of indian sociology but his view is called indological view textbook view but he gone to the extent of saying the indian tribals are backward hindus he took into account you know that the hindu system where he gave lower uh, the position something they are back like who gave you authority how, how how come you can say you are forward <laughs> on what basis <laughs> if this is my living that's your living how come you can become judgmental and what is the parameter is it time tested who gave you that parameter technology is technology everywhere when bow and arrow technology is for tribal people that your cryogenic technology satellite artificial intelligence robotic for survival in this world you got this technology to survive in their world that's more than sufficient it is not you know becoming judgmental or competing grounds my technology is superior than your technology and what in killing other people in devastation in destruction in exploitation hope you understand what i'm talking ladies and gentlemen your thought should be this way if you think this way you are mature you are sensitive you are scholastic you are, you are touch the you know that the intellectualism then then you are a good leader good officer there good decision making there you never come down you never get disturbed by those pretty parochial you know that uh, uh, social issue of course i'm talking about ladies and gentlemen so and vulnerable variously by class caste gender age such vulnerabilities should factor in rehabilitation got the idea na while rehabilitation you know by while framing rehabilitation and resettlement policy you, it's not only transparent you also ensure that we are getting affected where where all, all stakeholders considering all these views you know that you know that you ensure it is that way and also you know that there should be public hearing that's what environment impact assessment that's what we are talking about the proposal you know various proposal by think tanks the academicians from you know the top institutions in india saying that the signatory saying that you know the very people getting affected because of the strategic projects of uh, 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 um, you know the government you know that they are not taken into account they are not properly aware of this you know the proposal first of all it should be in local lingua franca vernacular if it is in english they may not be knowing they may have you know their own local language different it should be communicated in such a way in their own vernacular lingua franca so that they come up with you know some suggestions and if at all any apprehensions on their part it should be allayed by by you know the proper rehabilitation and resettlement mechanism and there should be you know that some system to, for the grievances and redressal mechanism there should be a public hearing there should be a sufficient time also given covid situation the hasty the decision with which governments are passing laws you know in the name of consolidation because nobody is questioning because people are preoccupied preoccupied with life and livelihood given covid situation state and central governments they are passing all the laws on their own that ultimately goes against in the long run there is there is criticism like that please take care of it can fool some people sometime some people all the time all the people sometime but not all the people all the time when there is injustice in relationship relationship will not be long lasting <laughs> hope you understand on the holistic perspective ladies and gentlemen so the public hearing from the inception of you know that the planning of dam you know through various stages of displacement and resettlement it is to be expected that those likely to be you know that negatively affected you know that that demands your proactiveness the preparedness to face the challenges you know affected by the projects would be consulted you know that you go for public hearing and kept informed then and there public hearing social audit and as so as to enable them you know that to best you know that rebuild their lives you know that it is you know, it it becomes you know that responsible accountable and transparent administration part of you know that uh, the very you know good governance we are talking about but we move to the next level ethical governance 
When, when there are laws, you know, that you know, acting as constraints, you go beyond the law, you be sensitive, have compassion towards those people. Practice the policy of equity. Practice inclusive governance. Social inclusion. That's ethical governance we are talking about. Go beyond, you know, the restrictions of the law. You know, that because ethics is not, you know, the compromising law. That's beyond the law. Because, you know, that you become more practical, flexible. Because you, you don't silence your, you know, the inner conscience in that sense. It's that way. It is judgment. So, bureaucratic, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, 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 latitude, you know, we are talking about. And also, the insensitivity should not be, you know, the tolerate. You know, that there should not be, you know, the uh, lackadiastical attitude, red tapism, procedural delay on the part of, you know, the, the government officials. And also, you know, that rejection, uh, ignorance or insensitivity on the part of officials. That should be taken care of, you know, that they should be dealt properly accordingly. Ladies and gentlemen, and you ensure tribal welfare. This is what, you know, we are talking about. So, the forest department must be proactively, you know, involve themselves, involve the people of that particular, you know, the forest villages about possible, sub, you know, that's what in Sardar Sarovar Dam we spoke. So, you know, it's going to be built between, you know, the, uh, 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 the two mountains, of course, valley, you know, that, of course, you know, you people are residing here and you will be submerged when the level rises. So, how it can be, you, you, you can be resettled, rehabilitated, otherwise you go and settle here, you understand the vulnerability, otherwise you have a team to, to parallelly, I know that intimate them then and there, they may not be, you know, the, because you know, they are, de but one thing you have to understand, you know, we are talking about, they, they don't know what's happening in the mainstream, no, it's not like that, they are very sensitive people, because they live with nature, any natural holocaust, they are the first people to identify, you have to understand, because when tsunami came, you know, all people, you know, the, the birds, you know, other species, animals, even, you know, that all the peoples, you know, the forest people, they sensitized. Something is likely to happen. They sense, they, they took, you know, that safe position. But whereas we, the so-called, you know, that advanced people, na, educated people, na, knowledge people, na, we got perished. <laughs> that is what, you know, that the extraordinary, because they live with nature. We lost the touch of nature, we suffered. The moment you lose, that is what stay grounded. <laughs> when, the, when the eyes are, you know, the focused on the sky, you please ensure your legs are grounded. We are talking about this. Stay grounded, you know, stay, don't lose the touch with nature. I'm talking about, of course, you know that. So even, you know, the, the yogas, now people ask you, you do floor exercises. <laughs> you know that, otherwise, you know that, uh, try to have touch with, you know, the, the, the earth. Uh, you know, sometimes try to have, you know, that the barefoot walk. You have the touch of, you know, uh, 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 it's not earth thing I'm talking about. Uh, stay in touch with the earth. We're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, of course, you know, that the tribal people share the problems of, you know, other rural people, but they are even more dependent on forests, you know, that and other common property resources, their documented legal rights uh, on cultivable lands, or even, you know, the more uh, tenuous, you know, the tenure related issues we are talking about, their skills for diversified livelihood, not based on, you know, that the forest or land area are even more rudimentary and their ability to negotiate with state officials and courts even more, you know, that the weaker. We are talking about, it's not only, you know, the government officials, their lackadiastical attitude, even rural people, I told you, the encroaches in the neighborhood, the mainstream people, and you have to protect them from the onslaught of those things also we are talking about. They also come and share, ultimately, how, in what way you are protecting them. We are talking about so many things, of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is the right time, you know, that you have seen something, you know, the environmental ethics related topic, you know, we have seen one previous question. Let me also take you to, you know, that ethical solution of, you know, one case study. You might be aware, you know, that the projects like this, you know, that, uh, 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 you know, that, of course, the road project, of course, even in Tamil Nadu, eight lane road projects at the cost of agricultural lands between Salem to Chennai. Uh, in three hours, you can, you can go to Chennai. So what? What you will do after going there? Uh, between, you know, that Mahindra city, of course, you know, that uh, from Chengalpattu to, you know, that uh, to reach that, you know, Tambaram or even for, you know, Paris corner, how much time it will take because of the tra traffic people are there? It will take another three to four hours. <laughs> what is the use? Of course, oh my God. Now they are talking about, you know, the thanks to Nitin Nadgadgari, Nad Nad you know, that the Union Finance Minister, in, you know, that the plan of 5,000 crores connecting, you know, that. Uh, 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 the, the Singapore Mall coil with, you know, that the port area. I'm talking about Chennai based, you know, that uh, the elevated highway, you know, that two layered, you know, highways, you know, that it's almost like, you know, that uh, the Bangalore projects we are talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to that efforts to reduce traffic congestion. Let's appreciate. We are talking about here, it should not be at the cost of agricultural lands. 
the, the Salem to facilitate a, a corporate, of course, you know, Jindal. We are talking about, ladies and gentlemen, let us come back here. So, case study, this case study is about a senior officer, you know, that in the ministry, you are the senior officer in the ministry. See, you are preparing for civil service examination, maybe you are here to write prelims, some of you, you know, that going to write mains, but you know that the case study says you have become senior officer in the ministry, right? You know, senior officer, maybe secretary level, you are secretary, come on, assume you are secretary. That is why I say this subject is highly motivating. You know that from that secretary position, you got the responsibility. You have to provide solution. What is that? You have access to important policy decisions and upcoming. You know that the big announcements, such as you know that road construction projects. You know you you have access to important policy decisions and upcoming big announcements, such as road construction projects, before they are notified in the public, before you reveal to the public, put it in the public domain. So the ministry is about to announce announce a mega road project for which the drawings are already in place, sufficient care was taken by the planners to make use of the government land with minimum land acquisition. You understand that? They took care so that you do not take you know, much of the private land that goes against their livelihood or you know, agriculture. Now, how, where they will go? That way. So, you ensure you know, that minimum so that you know that majority people are not getting affected. Otherwise, you also ensure they are properly compensated. That is important. And compensation rate for the private parties are also finalized as per government rules. The care was also taken to minimize deforestation, not only ensuring that minimum land acquisition from private party and also the minimization of deforestation and even the land acquisition, the people, private parties, for them you ensured the, the, the compensation and also you talk about, you know, that uh, it is, uh, the, you know, that uh, 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 the sufficient care you took when, when planners were making, you know, that uh, uh, the planning you might be aware. So all those things, you know, that they are also involvement of the use of government land. So, once the project is announced, it is expected that there will be huge spurt in, in, in real estate prices. What will happen, you know, the, any special economic zone comes here, you know, that ultimately, you know, that uh, there will be boom in the real estate sector. The people, hitherto it was, you know, that yes, 3 lakhs, it will become 30 lakhs. That is the scenario, you understand, you know, that otherwise, that is what I am talking about. The union minister, you know, that he will leak that information, if at all he is an ethical guy and uh, to his own, you know, people, otherwise he will ensure his own relatives, uh, the binamis, you know, buying some 2,000, 3,000 acres, you know, that uh, in, the, in the locality, uh, which is going to be, you know, that uh, nearby to the proposed site, because they know information. It is not directly doing, his binamis will be doing. That is happening, that is happening even now. What will happen, you know, these guys will be, you know, going and buying, you know, that some 2,000, 3,000 acres, you know, that the bulk purchase using some, you know, that say maybe some 200 crores just for, you know, that uh, least money by threatening. They will use all those some bait, done, then measures. What will happen once the project comes, you know, the very 200 crores for which they purchase now, it will become, you know, the 2,000 crores, sometimes 20,000 crores. This is how politicians, you know, that they survive through their own, it is nepotism, favoritism. The lobby will be surviving. There will be quid pro quo measures. They are parties. And these guys, you know, that maybe, you know, that they will be taking care of his future needs, you know, of the financing party, whatever, maybe all these things. This is how the system survives for your kind information, the real estate mafia and the nexus with politicians. Are you aware? That way we are talking about political backing, of course. Without that, it is not possible. Even the, the corrupt money, the 200 crores, you know, that will be corrupt money will be utilized for that investment. Of course, you are talking about. So, you know, that they do not accept, you know, that whenever you go buy and one guy rejected, I said, I want this property for 75 lakhs, you know, one, one place in Coimbatore. I am saying this. I am very open. One villa. That guy said, sir, uh, we, we want, you know, that 60%, uh, you know, the black, sir. We do not want, you know, weight, sir. Hey, hey I am coming to give, you know, that weight. How come? No, no, he says, no, I want, you know, that the black money, I want cash for the remaining money. Guidelines, values, totally different. You got a system to, you know, that support that. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you come to know, you know, that everything, this is how the system works, you know, that you will, maybe at, at the end gauge, I don't know, you talk with your parents, they may guide you, you know, that uh, uh, guide you to the reality, but don't get disturbed by that. Of course, the, the huge spot in real estate prices around that area. Meanwhile, the minister concerned, you know, that insists, that you real, you know, that see, now you got political pressure. The minister concern insists that you realign the road in such a way that it comes closer to his 20 acre farmhouse. Just see, so that he can sell out that property to the increased value. 20 acre farmhouse, maybe, you know, you just imagine. Maybe, you know, that some, of course, 
maybe today it is you know some two crores in the sense of course it goes maybe you know the two, 200 crores 2000 crores why not maybe nearby the project the roads near to road stone away distance but you have to you have to throw that distance on the, the stone for two kilometers will you do <laughs> you have to practice this throw they will say all real estate people you know that's that's you know that interesting conversation with them of course ladies and gentlemen of course talking about he also suggests that he would facilitate the purchase of you know that the big you know now now carrot and stick policy the big plot of land in your wife name ah binami eh, now now you are shown <laughs> eh, appeasement and, and you know that uh, at, the, at the prevailing rate and, and, and it's very nominal and in and around you know the proposed mega road project you know that there will be registration of one you know that big plot in your wife name see nepotism of course corruption in kind so he also tries you know that uh, to convince you by saying that there is no harm as it is you know that he is buying the uh, you know that the land legally because you know that it's it's nothing you know anyway i'm going to buy it is that way. So, he even promises to supplement, you know, that your, your savings in case you do not have sufficient funds to, uh, but, you know, if at all, you know, that he is ready to support him all round so that he will be favored. The compensation, quid pro quo. So, the nexus between minister and, and bureaucrat, it is expected, the case study says, but let us see. However, by the act of realignment, a lot of agricultural lands has to be acquired. Now, it, it becomes once again the Salem Jindal project. The eight lane road projects like you know what happened right Ag you know during election time they will say it's no after that again they will revive so <laughs> the agricultural lands you know that more agricultural lands have to be acquired now so the, you conceived one idea that's you know that fantastic but now you have to alter that idea that goes against you know everything agricultural land thereby causing considerable financial burden more you know that expenditure on the part of government it's a burden financial burden and also the displacement of farmers see agricultural lands and displacement of farmers and, and if this is not enough, you know that it will it will involve the cutting down of law. It goes against forest policy, the forest deforestation and denudation of you know that the area. It's green. What happened? You know that uh, between Metapalayam Metapalayam Road when you approach you know Uti Hills and Mardamalai also they started somewhat stopped. You understand what I'm talking, ladies and gentlemen? So if you try to favor that politician, it, it has got this much effect. But you will be compensated. The quid pro quo, the corrupt measure. Of course, you know, face, you know, you are you, you are almost secretary level, part of that ministry. Faced with this situation, what you will do? Critically examine various conflicts of interest, you know, that and explain what's your responsibilities, you know, that are as a public servant. You might be aware it's all round violation of you know that of course environmental ethics. Whether you call you know that everything, you know, that environmental justice, it is environmental injustice. You know that it is it, it goes against you know forest cover of course you know that that goes against ecocentrism biocentrism when you talk about that and also you don't have you know stewardship obligation towards if at all you do that i'm talking about just that way you know while uh, violation of all round all round you know that environmental ethics that's number one but who are you you are you know that official a senior you know that officer part of that particular ministry of course you know that maybe let's let's keep you know you are you are secretary level so ethics in public administration so you have to violate it's not only violating environmental ethics also violating ethics in public administration ladies and gentlemen this is how we are we are going to talk about of course you know that when it comes to you know that ethics in public administration you might be aware i i discussed also previously of course you know that i'll be dealing separately about this topic in another video lcr itf the code i'm supplying lcr itf you next give you the code Don't worry. So what is that? You know that you, you, you have to ensure that it is not violating law. So legality, your commitment towards you know that uh, uh, service and you should have responsibility that talks about your integrity. Now it is a questioning your integrity. Now transparency, ultimately you know that you have to gel with officials, fusion and also you know it talks about you know then only you, you, you will do excellence in service. Utilitarianism, you know that the way the, the, the proposed side, the proposed plan talking about maximum happiness for maximum people. But what this minister insisting for his own favor, now it is going against that utilitarian policy. When you do that, you are going against national integration or even you do not have national interest or even patriotic fervor. And you know that it, it is it's, it's affecting equity. The agriculture farmers, you know, getting affected because when you encroach more, and also, you know, equity principle compromise. And also, you don't have compassion towards, you know, those poor farmers. 
and you, you, it, you have to be sensitive, environmental sensitivity as well as you know sensitivity to the human society. A sensitive so that you don't indulge in corruption, you know, you don't yield to the, you know, that the ministers, you know, that uh, 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 the corrupt, you know, the suggestion. It is that way. There comes, you know, ethical dilemma, whether to listen to minister because he is your boss, whether to listen to your minister or whether to, you know, that strictly adhere to the, the ethical principle of both ethics and public administration and environmental ethics. You got conflict of interest in this governing mechanism. You understand what I am talking about? So, both environmental ethics and ethics in public administration. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, we are talking about as a senior officer in the ministry. You know that as secretary, you are speaking, you know, that I have certain authorities and with authority, there are, uh, you know, that uh, uh, responsibilities towards it. Not only with more power comes more responsibility. It is not mere, you, you, you know, you, since you say you are authority, you got a responsibility. The responsibility towards society. So, in the above, there are certain conflict of interest. That is what I am talking about. What are all the conflict of interest? We are going to discuss, you know, thread by thread. Of course, we are talking about. So, my economic interest, you know, that I can grow by accepting all these bribe measures. You, you, can, you get plot of land. You can grow, you know, that maybe in, in, the, in, the, in the economic ladder, you grow. But that goes against the interest of farmers. You throw away farming community. The marginal small farmers, of course, they lose their lands, livelihood, of course. The offer of the minister will strengthen me economically, but it will also result in great loss to the farmers. There comes the ethical dilemma, whether, whether for self-growth or, you know, they are compromising, you know, that uh, uh, the, the collective growth, altruism, you know, that uh, uh, something which benefits society. A large displacement of farmers will take place. So, there comes, you know, the conflict, ethical dilemma for you. Moreover, my ethical values do not allow me to favor the minister. And, and thus, I will stand in the original project. You know what I will say? No. No doing, nothing doing. Come on, transfer me. Come on, Ashok Kimka. You become Ashok Kimka or Sagayam here in Tamil Nadu. And there are various in your locality, you know, that overall good one, Gairnar, we here in the past and so many people. And uh, I think, you know, in your locality, who is straightforward officer, you know, you replace that name. Come on. Uh, it is that way. It is gentlemen I am talking about. And, and, and minister's interest. Minister's ambition, of course, you know, and versus professional, you know, that interest. Your professional interest is to, you know, that have a plan in such a way, you know, that without affecting the less encroachment of, you know, agricultural land and, you know, that and also, you know, that less forest, you know, that uh, impact. But whereas, you know, that the minister's interest, you know, that that should go neighbor to his, you know, the 20 acre plot that benefits him, but that goes against the community interest there. So, if I do not consider minister's proposal, definitely you will enjoy the wrath of minister. Of course, you know that, you know that ship is always safe on its shore, but ship is meant for sailing. Don't pray the God, Almighty God for easy life. Oh my God, please bless me. Eh? Pray the God, you know, that uh, to give you strength so as to face any eventualities in life. Ready to face any challenges in life. Oh my God, please make me strong so that I am I'm, I'm strong enough to face all the challenges in life. Let me handle it. That should be your prayer. Come on, we are talking about, you know, that. So, of course, it will cost. So, what? Ready to face. So, disregarding his wish will irritate him. And I may have to pay the cost. Of course, you know, he may threaten. He may transfer. You know, that uh, so many things may, you know, that uh, all, all things will happen. Maybe in the form of unfavorable transfer. Of course, so what? Because of the thing you are transferred somewhere, so what? You know that it's not like that. You are ready to, as long as you are ready to serve anybody. Service to the humanity should be the motto. That is what the, you know, the difference between great people and eminent people. What do you do with what you have? Wherever, you know, there are some officials, you know, even, you know, that my uncle's friend, of course, you know, Mr. Iran by is, I think, you know, wherever he goes, you know, he will make difference. Wherever he is posted, he will make difference. Such a good people are there. You have to understand, you know, they are not worried about transfer. <laughs> you put me anywhere. Huh? Huh? That, that strong determination to serve people, we have to appreciate them. It is that way. There are good people everywhere. You identify. So, you know, that unfavorable transfer. Okay, so what? So, fasten your belt. You know, you hope you might be aware of one story. There was TN session. You know, that uh, electoral reforms, when you talk about TN session comes to you. Chief election commissioner then. You know, that and he had his quarrel with one minister. Uh, because he did not listen to the minister, you know, that, that conflict was there. What happened, right? You know, in a single day, there were some six transfers. In a single day, six transfers, you know, that I hear that story. Because he was straightforward. He did not listen to the words of minister. When he sat on the sixth chair, 
he asked that minister called him this is the story in the bureaucratic circle the minister called him and said how is your wife are you aware of this story please talk with your elders part of bureaucracy this story i hear you know that it's it's not tn station told me <laughs> it's not tn station told me this story in the bureaucratic circle you check with you know this is a story everywhere and also when minister you know that uh, uh, messed with one district collector i think by name malathi ias i believe from tamil nadu she is she was straight forward lady and you know that she scolded the minister if i think i can become minister but you can never become ias officer at this age <laughs> that and all the things you know uh, the encounters you know i hear stories hope you are aware you know i'm i'm speaking from south you can understand you know that the stories from the north so many stories are there you understand you know you are ready to face challenges so on considering his proposal the minister's proposal i you know that as officer you will get benefited in future with higher post if you listen to him and you know that the pampering everything will happen but i will prepare myself for the impending situation that you know that and i will take the decision in favor of the society not in favor of that corrupt minister because this is what ethics in public administration because you know that you never compromise legality it is illegal illegal gratification you don't want because you want to excel in service because you your commitment towards service because you are man of integrity we spoke na i gave you lcr itf you know i gave you the code ethics in public administration right it is that way ladies and gentlemen it's not only that my economic interest and the uh, uh, and, and that of minister and environment you know it is not when you listen to the minister it's not only affecting the professional that goes against your professional assignment and also you know that you violate all round environmental ethics yes our combined interest is very harmful for the environment because it, it's going to reduce the forest cover and you are going to encroach you know that more agricultural lands that goes against you know that uh, uh, the very life you know that, that affects economy and also marginal small farmers we are talking about so as it may be resulting in the cutting down of large number of tree denuding the forest area of green cover that that will contribute to the global warming further and also works against you know the the the, the, the uh, forest policy of the nation yes so as a responsible public servant you know i shall keep aside the vested interest and shall consider the original thought got the idea you say no when you want to say no you have to say no when you got choices in front of you right and comfort you are supposed to root to right not the comfort the people who have chosen comfort they lost their identity ladies and gentlemen that is what ethics that is what ethics But ethics you know the beginning definition i gave you even in the introduction only on violation of a particular law you feel guilty the world of law but in the world of ethics even thinking of violating you feel guilty why i thought that way that's very bad na and becoming na this moment is called ethics you have witnessed so much of uh, those moments in your life you are the ethical person because you started hearing your inner voice you don't silence your, your whispering chest listen to your inner voice there is a conflict between heart and you know, brain you have to listen to heart that's what form you make another thing the intuition that that will be soulful you know the connection that will be soulful decision also sometimes better listen to your heart than your brain because brain is accumulated knowledge you might be aware we are talking about ladies and gentlemen maybe contaminated conditioned knowledge but intuition but the heart you understand ladies and gentlemen of course you know but but in the world of ethics we also say it's it's balancing between both heart and brain that you have to understand that point so the minister's interest you know that versus financial burden of the government who cares about financial burden of the government so in the when the project is announced you know that it is 1000 crores by the time it gets finished you know 5 years 6 years you know it becomes 10000 crores and also the very contracts awarded to their inlaws that's what happened in tamil nadu's case you know there came news the newspaper by tamil nadu chief minister era party that's happening na i don't know what's happening <laughs> hello my god i'm asking you know that amisha ji you came and endorsing that government i don't know what's happening of course you know are you not reading newspaper of course you know that i'm talking about it's that way so you know that uh, of course the world will approve once again so the minister's interest you know that and and financial burden on the government we are talking about the minister's proposal will cause financial burden on the and the, the government of course as money and labor will be needed for realigning the road but once again right they are, who cares they are not bothered all this. that's what ministers you know because that guy spent money invested some money in winning election want want earned back more proportionately more 
in spite of the thing disproportionate asset, asset case how the chief ministers you know that jailed in this nation union ministers went to jail tihar jail you know irrespective of that the people you know that coming from jail they are they are you know that uh, 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 you know uh, india a land of scams we are talking about you know they are welcomed like this and, and they are coming as the freedom fighters eh? <laughs> not learning lesson out of tihar jail of course this is what happening you know that who cares you know that the, the 2g spectrum coal scam the various scams you know the india a land of scams you might be aware the cag report uh, uh, the notional loss you might be knowing all those stories so, and also even the sahara scam and you watch that you know the bad millennials in india the netflix you know that uh, the stash of money vijay mallaya nirav modi uh, uh, the sahara scam you, to, you know so many people you know well so the instead this money can be used for other welfare programs if at all if you say no that money the money it's likely to be wasted because of minister's decision can be utilized for other schemes that that benefits immediately the very people we are talking about it and also moral conflict we are talking about ladies and gentlemen the moral conflict when you say till now i have done my service you know that on moral it's your moral compass you know that that getting affected the moral conflict what do you get till now i've done my services on moral values either too i'm well known for you know that my integrity a man of integrity and never you know the deviated from the principle i i listen my inner voice too but that way you know that your honesty you're talking about you know that and accepting the offer you know that will 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 rob me of my mental peace you know that what will happen that is what you know that the problem on the part of good people they will never commit mistakes if they commit mistakes that will affect their peace they will lose their composure but whereas bad people good at that na they never disbelieve that is what the problem in this world where all intellectuals are you know with full of doubts and confusion you know that the fools are with so called confident their behavior <laughs> fools and criminals are the very confident the roadway uh, but you know that all intellectuals are the very humble humble simple austere that is what that what happening in practical life all ethical you know that uh, uh, morally strong people they are very humble simple you know that uh, 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 easily approachable also but whereas you know all these you know that the, the, uh, uh, the unethical people they are they are projecting more of projections than reality huh? got the you know thousand cars lining and you know that all gundas people with criminal records they are given tickets and they'll be giving protection you know you know all you know what's happening in the world they are, they are never their peace is never getting disturbed they, you know my way is highway that's what their lifestyle but people you know the, whereas ethical people you know that they they get disturbed even for small mistakes <laughs> you know that they, they they feel humble they they immediately ask you sorry sorry i've done i've harmed you but this is what you know you have to understand the reality we are talking about so it will also degrade if you know you are a ethical person you are man of integrity so if if you indulge in it will also degrade my values which are the pillars of my strength you know your courage your strength strength you know it is because of your integrity it's because of your honesty i came with nothing i will go with nothing why drama i've got you know my own rules of the game i will live this way it's not my way highway my way special way the spiritual way ethical way uh, the way based on integrity and honor i'm talking about that gives you pillars you will not bother about anybody ready to undergo any suffering come on come on it is that way you ready to face any challenges you are not bother about you are not fear you know that no fear about anything it is that way we are talking about you know it is that way. so for fulfilling you know my economic needs you know the, the salary you know government is giving me salary no why should i i don't want anything because the planet of the earth has got all resources so has to meet one need not the greed people say sky is the limit even sky has no limit that space never expanding so it is that way you know you, you you got you know see given covid situation this is what you realize 20000 rupees more than sufficient to meet your needs in spite of the thing we earn 5 lakhs 6 lakhs 10 lakhs you know no happiness you you are earning money for the sake of somebody else's happiness conspicuous consumption 20000 rupees you can meet your needs otherwise the rest of the money where it goes even though you earn 10 lakhs 5 lakhs per month you know you are not happy why because you are living somebody else like to live as you you know that as you desire it is very simple to live like others it's very costly for that you have to do all this drama corruption everything compromise dishonesty practices everything that's what everybody doing at the end of the day one tumbler 
ash or six feet land. <coughs> After that, that six feet land will be given to later sometime another dead body. For your, for your kind information, we are talking about understand this. And, and you know, let me tell you another principle. In Tamil Nadu is a place, you know, that you might be aware, a guy who rose to power. Of course, you know, the great person appreciated for his political acumen, Kalanjar Karunanidhi, he came to power because of his oratorial skills and command over Tamil language. You know what happened? The last two years before his death, he couldn't speak. See the, see the uh, uh, contra, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, contradictory nature of life. The very Jailalitha, you know that she could control everybody under her, you know that uh, feet, everybody used to touch because of fear, because of her boldness, whatever may be. And you know that when, when she died, she, you know that the report that she, she had no legs. Are you aware? What lesson you want, I am asking. The bureau, corrupt bureaucrats, the corrupt politicians, I am saying, what lesson you need in Tamil. You, you, you learn lesson from Tamil Nadu. Still, there are guys, you know that. <laughs> playing, let them, you know, that they will also understand soon. That's what I'm talking about. One lesson you need, irrespective of party line, irrespective of, you know, ideological line, you got lesson. Are you ready to learn lesson out of it? It's not wrong in committing mistake. Have you learnt lesson out of it? I'm asking. But unfortunately, what happens, right? All ethical people are suffering. All criminals are, you know, thriving somewhere. So, karma will speak. Karma theory, you can't escape. We are talking about all these things. And, and given above situation, I will ask the ministry, you know, that as a senior officer to announce the project with all nitty gritties in the public domain. You go ahead, sir. The same originally intended proposal as soon as possible to, you know, the, the minimize, you know, that uh, uh, any kind of corruption. You talk about, you know, that you go ahead with original because that's what your duty. You never compromise because you are man of integrity, right? You never compromise law also. Moral conflict, here comes. You know what happened? I will inform my seniors about intention. You know, you keep your seniors updated. You know, that minister is demanding this way, but I'm sorry, I can't. If they help me, then it's good. Probably, you know, that straightforward officials happen to be your seniors may come and arrest you. And that more, you know, there may be some black sheep also. You have to be careful. The, you know, when Chidambaram was, you know, that uh, uh, by enforcement interrogated, former union minister, the very discussion happened on the part of CBA. The very note was available in Chidambaram's home. Such is the nexus. Are you aware? <laughs> They are working very closely. <laughs> oh my God. So if they help me, then it's good. Otherwise, you know, I will take the help of, you know, non-governmental organizations and media. You know, it is right time. You know, if you are feeling threatened, it's right time. You know, that at the time, you know, you, know, you, you go for non-governmental organization. You, really, you put in the public domain, you also parallel. Once it becomes public, na, the media will come forward. Otherwise, through public interest in litigation, maybe your friends, well-wishers, they know you are integrity. They won't leave you. And they will go to the court, it is that way. And also media houses, that becomes media attention. These guys are afraid of losing vote banks, na? it is that way. And, and this and all that, to uncover the case. And this will make moral and public pressure on the minister. What happened, right? Since as thing has been already put in the public domain, media attention, non-governmental organization, civil society in place, even your higher-ups are knowing. And higher-ups are also parallelly possibility, you know, telling the minister, no, no, it's not done. Maybe you transfer him. I can't do anything. So that's what happened recently. One minister, IT minister, of course, you know that one, uh, Mr. Santosh Bab, IAS, you know that that person resigned, you know that because he gave, you know that the very thing, political pressure, he gave VRS. Are you aware of this? In Tamil Nadu, it happened. You know that we are talking about, you know, all this, you know that the political experience, you know that one ultimately bureaucrat, uh, uh, the getting, you know, that victims because of that. You talk about. Otherwise, you have to say yes to. If you either you yield or get transferred. This guy said, no, VRS. It is that way we are talking about. This will make the moral and public pressure on the minister. Maybe it, it's put in the public domain. Of course, you know that probably you may be saved that way. Otherwise, you are ready to face any eventualities. That's totally different situation. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the thing, you know, that hitherto we spoke? Let me summarize once again what we have done so far. Not going there. Oh, my God. Yes, yes. Wasting time. Yes, of course, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about, you know, we gave you introduction to the environmental ethics, applying the principles of ethics from, you know, mere human environment to even non-human environment. You take into account flora, fauna, living, non-living, you know, of course, biotic, abiotic, even visible, invisible forms of life. That is the principles we spoke. In the world of ethics, we encounter a lot of, you know, that ethical dilemmas. In the world of environmental ethics, we are 
discussing you know the ethical dilemmas and and the ethics will guide you the ethical values i am talking about even the syllabus we took you not only that if we link with you know previous year question and case study how this environmental ethics you know based questions came up in the past you know that so that that gives you more idea you know that and not only that the various values the questions with which you know that we began you know that how the environmental ethics all about and also the various values i gave you the formula a squared plus b plus c squared plus e to the power 4 plus yes you know anthropocentrism animal ethics biocentrism you know conservation ethics climatic ethics and you talk about ecocentrism eco justice environmental justice environmental racism and stewardship this is what the formula a squared plus b plus c squared plus e to the power 4 yes come on this old values you know so that you never forget you understand so we discuss about you know that anthropocentrism no need of you know that repeating again animal ethics as if animals have inherent value biocentrism life centric you know that evaluation judgment and you have to preserve for the future the conservation of you know that ethics we are talking about and climatic ethics climate is climate is for all for all creations how come you know that human society may be responsible for you know that affecting climate that affects in turn all other species too and also we took you to you know that ecosystem a centric you know that where flora fauna everything living non-living you have to take into account whole biodiversity you have to take into account we also talk about you know humanity should not feel as if it is supreme race you know that to, to, to intimidate otherwise you know that to exploit you know other species domain so the racism our e waste m waste nuclear waste even we spoke you know that the construction base in what way responsible for you know that wiping away devastation of you know that other species you might be aware we spoke and not only that you know it is german and also you know that finally we expect you to practice that you know that uh, uh, eco justice you know that uh, only when you take care of you know human justice that will later develop you know that the justice of nature and also all you know that the justice meant for environment should you know that uh, uh, should be incorporated part of you know human justice mechanism that is the way we are talking about so that you know that the commitments towards you know that ecological sustainability and human justice as well so we spoke at length about that ladies and gentlemen it is your obligation because when there is a creator when you are as a as a creation you have to understand there are other creations too when you are as a creation you understand there is a creator creator has done other creations also responsible for producing other creations too so what's your obligation towards other creations the planet of the earth is not only for you for other creations also what's your obligation what's your duty towards them what's your sensitivity towards them not only that it's not only planet of the earth the whole solar system i'm saying that elon musk i appreciate your achievement you know that everything through spacex falcon everything that's fantastic the planet of the earth is not only for you know that uh, 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 the, the human should not restrict it to the mere planet of the earth they, they can also go to other planets a part of solar system that's fantastic measure that comes another question you know that uh, don't you want to restrict humans you know exploitation the earth itself you want you want you know that widen their space so that they will exploit there also negative sense maybe in favor of you know environmental ethics we are talking about right it is that way ladies and gentlemen you know that we spoke spoke at length of course you know that we linked with you know that uh, uh, the question you know it's about construction of dam between you know mountain valley you know that goes against you know that the forest cover as well as local ethnic community and while framing a policy you know that uh, what are all the measures to be taken into account where we spoke rehabilitation resettlement measure transparency accountability responsibility and also economic welfare of the people got displaced and also parallel you go for public hearing and also you know that you ensure the welfare of the tribal people in such a way you go for other mechanisms even the case study dealt in such a way when it talks about you know that big road projects when ministry when you know, that, you know you are part of the ministry as senior official maybe you know secretary level when minister is demanding you know comes with obligation so that you will be you know that compensated for that you never yield to that you know temptation you never favor that you never indulge in the corrupt measures and also you know how to do that we have we touched you know ethics and public administration values as well as the environmental ethics you never violated it is that way so we discussed that way we gave you the solution ladies and gentlemen the ethical dilemmas you witness part of the case study your economic interest versus the interest of the farmers the minister's interest versus your professional interest and your economic interest because of that minister's you know that uh, the favor or that how it goes against environment the minister's interest and also you know that how the financial financial burden on the government and finally your moral conflict you know that how it is going to affect you know that your peace in such a way and you are ready to face challenges ladies and gentlemen we discuss of course you know that hope you would have benefited you know that i would have made your time worthwhile i believe ladies and gentlemen and you know that uh, uh, it's my foundation i just you know that inspired you i believe i pushed you 
to this particular domain because you know that you can learn more please go for you know that reference of this material lexicon you know the chronicle publications or you know that i am not marketing executive of any book here it's available in the market it's my duty what i share you know what i expose you can also but in in your opinion also you consult your own people you know that in the locality to get more of course you know that ethics integrity aptitude by p n roy choudhury and subarao ethics and integrity and values in public service by ramesh arora and also you know that 11 uh, it's not i'm sorry second administrative reform commission report we are talking about ladies and gentlemen that's very crucial for you know the governance when it comes to ethics integrity the subject matter which has got to it's it's highly scoring subject quite interesting motivating subject you know please involve yourself it's almost like solving the puzzle when it comes to ethics case study you know well it's fantastic you are already good at but you know as my role i, I repeat once again my role is to connect play the role of connector i connect your your understanding with the nomenclatures with thinkers with case study with official information when it comes to case study even the template we suggested in every case study you have to discuss you know that the various parties involved and ethical dilemma you witness and what is the case study you know that what is the domain it belongs to and what are the value systems that should be listed there whether it is ethics in public administration or ethics in an environmental angle what are, or even ethics in international relations the values encountered and also you know that necessary relevant codes then and there and also information related to you know that the constitution or articles of schemes policies measures taken by government of india whatever may be the you know nature of case study accordingly you try to you know substantiate your answer using that so that you know you never violate the legality of that particular thing got the idea it is that way we are talking about and uh, it is that way ladies and gentlemen your ethical solution when you provide you, you introspect in such a way you, you go for you know self examination examination so you see merits and demerits involved in the case so finally you resort to you know that ethical solution it is that way ladies and gentlemen but that that solution based on the bottom of that particular case study especially the bottom of the case study you are, you are directed what you have to do the options the steps what you have to do as an officer i told you this ethics subject is nothing but a written interview so you know that you are you are in written you know of course the printed questions you see in, in by writing you are going to answer it but what you do in interview you do by writing here it's otherwise called anticipatory socialization before you reach home secretary finance secretary whatever may be the secretary uh, ssp as commissioner of corporation as district collector you know that what you can do see that's fantastic highly encouraging you you socialize yourself you train yourself before reaching that position before reaching that status that's fantastic we appreciate you know that you will benefit more definitely please you know that attend all you know that the videos on the part of ethics and integrity available you know that which is given by me i am success sampath once again welcome to an academy ladies and gentlemen and and thanks for your passions you know that hope i enriched your you know that understanding vis a vis environmental ethics today please you know that refer my use my you know that success you know that this is referral code you know that go for plus program as well as iconic program that benefits you more you understand ladies and gentlemen once you use this referral code you will be getting definitely 10% discount you can also reach me through telegram channel and various videos already available part of you know that youtube whether it is subject matter sociology or ethics or international relations now ethics and case study even in the you know that when you download the app you will you will, you will witness variety of you know that uh, uh, the videos especially mcq solving you know that for prelims you know a lot of questions came out of that also people have aware and also you know that even for mains point of view forthcoming mains point of view i started solving questions there you can witness indian economy the indian constitution politic governance and also you know that in, uh, uh, the international uh, internal security also i touched you know that you will see more questions in future also please make use of you know that all those you know that information available on the part of an academy and you have to you have to show gratitude you know that you benefit out of it i understand ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your wonderful wonderful participation this is success sampath you know signing off from you ladies and gentlemen let's meet you know again in the evening today evening 6 o'clock with another topic you know ladies and gentlemen thank you so much fantastic thank you bye